Arts, Q Music. Music is up and running. I think it is. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. This is 411 Sports, 411 Radio on four. What are we listening to? This is 411 Sports News. <laughs> this is 411 Sports Talk Radio on 411radionetwork.com. Is that right? That sounds right to me. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Everybody? <laughs> Your show, one, sir. 411 Sports Talk Radio on 411 Radio Network. Name right? it whatever you want to. No, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I am the bench warmer, uh, uh, kicking it on this uh, fourth show, right? Oh, year, yes. Fourth show of the year. Are you going to count every show? I am going to count every show. That is my mission to count at, at every show. This show. is the. This is it, though. Uh, well, no, 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 no. This is it. No, no, no. I'm going to. You can only do that for the first month. No, so. I'm going to count every show until the alcohol kicks in. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> no, I'm, I got a had a patch. Oh, okay. You know, I had a cut in the alcohol. You know how you put cuts Mercy. on alcohol on cuts? Mercy. Didn't Mercy. your mama used to do that to you? Mercy. That in Camp Alphonique or something like that? No. Oh, Camp Alphonique? Oh, Camp Pepe Pepe or something like that? Well, my mom, but she's as square as they come. Oh, grandmama. <laughs> oh, she's a mama grandmama. Oh, okay, wow. okay. All right, uh, to my uh, immediate right is uh, Coach. What's going on, Coach? Good evening, everybody. All right, I see you got the little Hawaiian. We going out to the... This is not Hawaiian. This is Harry Ellis' top of the line, buddy. Uh, he, you Hell no in the battle. <laughs> he just don't. You see, you see I'm behind the times. I'm thinking Paisley Park or something like that. Paisley Park. All right, to That's my friends. immediate, immediate... Uh, right is a uh, professor. What's happening, sir? Yes, sir. Everything is good. Uh -huh. How about yourself? You repping them Cowboys, ain't you? All the time. All the time. You know what? I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. We love it. We 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 got to go in. You know, <laughs> we, you gonna go to the cap to the, to the Super Bowl party with the Cowboys? Show, yes, right? sir. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and to my immediate left, she keeps us in line. We scared of her sometimes. We call her security. What's yes. happening? That's pretty good. We keep well, she she keeps us in line. That's pretty good. She keeps yeah. us in line. We scared her sometimes. I just made that up. <laughs> that is not cute. That's gonna be your tagline. I don't like it. I don't like it. And uh, keeping us on point. Like my, my granddaughter. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> keep us on point is our quest out there. Quest for success. Now that's going on, Quest. Tagline. Look. We scared of Quest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, it's time. It's time. What time is it? Minutes. Two minutes. You got 10 <laughs> seconds. See, Come on, man. You better start wrapping it up. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, uh, how was your weekend, security? It was great. Our grandson celebrated his first birthday. All right. So we went out, and um, he is mixed. He's um, His mother is Latina. Nice. So we had um, like Latin food, and we did a piñata. Nice. And all that, and they did the little, you know, the smash the cake and stuff. Oh, yeah. and he celebrated with his cousin because they were born like two weeks apart. Mm -hmm. So we did that. What else we do? Went to church. Yeah, and, and I, we watched that crazy football. I game. left my candy at home. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He we, 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 was stealing candy from the kids. I was not stealing candy. No, you were. Oh, oh, no, 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 you, you were. You I were. I have it on camera. You were. You took that girl's candy. I she had not. that candy right there on the deck, and you was like, I did I said, not. and I had to make you give it back. Uh -huh. You know what it was. Anyway, we had fun. We had fun. It was it was cute to see. Yeah. Uh, he's so sweet, sweet little baby. Yeah. Uh, professor. Weekend was well. Uh, went to church as usual. Family time and uh, nothing too special. I didn't watch the program. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask what what football game are we discussing here? The Pro Bowl. Oh yeah, yeah. The Pro Bowl. It, I was, didn't it watch wasn't it. worth was watching. watching I don't think it was. I mean, it never is. Other than Patrick Mahomes, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll tell you about that. We'll tell you about that. Uh, he watched it. How was your weekend, uh, sir? I had to work. Oh. But on Sunday, uh, me and the boys sat there for four and a half hours watching the WWE Royal Rumble. Oh, oh who won that? <sighs> That's way too long. When I was a kid, it, it was is. four and a half hours. It is. 
it's gotten way too long. But uh, Seth Rollins won the men's. Beth uh, Becky Lynch won the women's. It's and, too much uh, drama. Ain't it's number, cool. It's just it, hey, it, ain't number. It's, it's entertainment. It's entertainment. That's yeah, that's, that's entertainment. That sure is what that's it is. All it is. And a lot of these guys are former athletes. Before anybody, go ahead and send a message. Wrestling's fake. I understand that. But yeah, go in there and fight Brock Lesnar and have fun with that. Thank you. Look, I only liked <laughs> it when The Rock was in it. There you go. Can you smell what The Rock is? Cooking? I wasn't watching. <laughs> I wasn't watching it for that. Uh, this oh. is before I was married. Uh, you want oh, some I pie? Could, I could watch. Oh, it's okay. Because I, I, my <laughs> wife and I have been married for forever. Rock come on the screen. I don't exist. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's okay. It's like that sometimes. Yeah, you yeah. want some pie? Rock got a little pie for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know that a little too well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Goodness. Uh, okay, so uh, um, yeah, weekend was good. Mm -hmm. Weekend, we kind of. Uh, I, I did watch the Pro Bowl, okay. but I was working while I was watching those background, mm -hmm. you know. Background noise. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> since we're not going to talk about it, I can say they had um, they had uh, uh, Ezekiel Elliott playing defense. <laughs> That's why I don't want Wait, wait. And not defensive back. He was playing on the line. Uh, Alvin Kamari was playing defense on the line, and I almost got a sack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see who else. Who else? Uh, Mike Evans was playing defense and called an interception. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just Pro Bowl. It's, it's, they, 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 y'all they, go, go out and do what you want to do. The only thing that was that was promising, you know, um, that uh, 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 Kellen Moore was the offense coordinator, mm -hmm. and the first play he did was threw it deep. The first play he threw it deep. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if this is what we got to look forward to, oh yeah. I'm I'm high on Kellen Moore. I make no bones about that. Yeah. So and then they didn't score until uh, so Russell uh, Russell Wilson was all over the place. He I'm no no when I say all over the place he was he was sorry as all outdoors through picks and everything. You can't um, expect these guys to be on the same page. They're not Trubisky, but then when you but then when you put in Dak Prescott, <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a whole new different quarterback than the other three that came before him. And he I threw it down. And him and Amari Cooper was on target. Were they? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dak was four of eleven passing. Yeah, well, all four of them was to Mark Cooper. Oh, okay. Because I was like, well, I know he threw a touchdown pass. Yeah, he threw one. He threw that to uh, to the tight end. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they ran. It looked like the same play they ran with a uh, uh, with a uh, uh, Jarwin. Jarwin. Yeah, yeah. looked like looked like the same play. So I was encouraged. I was encouraged to see that. Okay, if this is what we had to look for, he's gonna go long. Let's let him go long. <laughs> so I was encouraged. We have an audience comment. Uh oh. About that. Uh oh. It's from Quest. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Should the Pro Bowl be done away with? Yes. And how about an agility challenge? See, and they have the agility they challenge. They do those challenges. They do. They do. Uh, I love those show, better than the core the QB competition. Yeah. Are real fun. That's when they have to hit those targets. But mm -hmm. it's not like the All Star weekend with the NBA. No, 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 no. It is. It, it, is. it is. It is. Well, they, they show it on like uh, uh, NFL, NFL Network. Network or something like that. Oh, okay. But they do I've have never it. Seen they had one. They had one to where uh, the, the kickers were playing tic tac toe, right? And so you had to get it. They had to kick it in, in different positions. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they played dodgeball. Uh, let's see. They played. I like the, the quarterback challenge where you have that's, to throw that's it. That's the one I watch. Yeah, I yeah. I love that one. That yeah. one's actually entertaining. Yeah, and Russell Wilson won that one, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, because he Andrew Luck was some hot garbage. Out yeah, he there. was <laughs> <laughs> missing every target. I was oh, like, wow. Yeah, the, my, my, my. The, the dodgeball challenge was pretty good too. Luck got beat by uh, Thielen, Thielen, the wide yeah. receiver yeah. from the Vikings yeah, because uh -huh. they had two quarterbacks and one, uh, I guess, a receiver or something like that. Non quarterback, non quarterback, yeah, yeah. Because I think um, Von Miller, Von Miller was, was the yeah. one for the AFC. Mm -hmm. He was terrible, <laughs> but you know. And then, do you realize how bad uh, uh, that that cancer has really taken over Jim Kelly? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that cancer is really. I mean, well, he, he he doesn't have it now. No, they, they don't. They don't find. No, he doesn't have it them. now. But oh, his it, it has wiped his whole body out. Yeah, I mean, his well, that's his, what cancer does. His speaking and everything, his voice is just oh. different. I yeah. Mean, the treatments are worse than the the disease itself. Right. Went yeah, through a uh, chemo. Uh huh. Yeah. So I, I thought I was a wow. Okay, um, birthdays. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of what comes up next. Well, I didn't know it was next. I thought it was during the entertainment hour. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, okay, celebrity birthdays. Y'all ready to guess? I hope y'all haven't peaked. I peaked. 
I, I know you have I, I, I haven't. I haven't. I hadn't. I hadn't. Okay. So I'm just going to do three today. Okay. Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Wow. Is what? Six point two billion. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's all you need right. to know. Don't worry about the age. Uh, let's see. Oprah. Uh, 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 sixty-two. Oprah I'm gonna say sixty-one. She's sixty-five. Oh. Yeah. Mitch Womar already That's knew. We yeah. saw it this morning. Wow. Okay. Okay. Charlie Wilson from the Gap Band. Man. My name is Charlie. Yeah. That's my dude right there. Um, from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm. Tulsa. Of course. Why am I not surprised? He's, he's <laughs> right. Um, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, Charlie Wilson. I'm, I'm going to say, say 62. 65. Same age. 68. Oprah. He is 66. Okay. Y'all well, are all around. That's, that's funny, uh, Professor. 68. Forget them. <laughs> what they say. <laughs> <laughs> he was hardcore with yeah. that. 68. Man, he's he, kicking he, it, man. Yeah. Have y'all seen him in concert? Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've had a couple like, of times. He's 60 what? He's up there dancing and having a good time. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's that Oklahoma blood. What I love most about him is he sounds just like the record. Yes, he does. Right, right. He does. He does. That that's a, a rarity. True yeah, exactly. they're not true putting singer. any any synthesizers on him. No, he There's sounds none of that great. Stuff on his voice. And he reminds me of my dad. My dad just turned 70, and he still – I have to remember that he's 70 years old because he's still running around like he's 40. Mm-hmm. I mean, just driving from Oklahoma to Louisiana. He's just all over the place. Man, he's like, Daddy, sit down somewhere. Charlie said it best. All right. Living my best life. Living his best mm-hmm. life. So next, um, you guys may or may not know this person. Her name is Andrea Kelly. Mm-mm. You don't remember that name, Cedric? I don't. Bench warmer. You don't remember that name? We just saw her recently. Oh, what? She is the ex-wife of the infamous. Oh, oh, R. Kelly. R. Kelly. She oh. was on the docu. Oh, and she's okay. So he's fifty-three. She, we don't want to know how old he is. Well, no, because she, she because her age is much much older than his. No, it's not fifty-three. No. Well, you can't say no. You got to. I'm just saying she's. I'm just saying <laughs> oh. she's not older than him. She's younger. Remember, he was after young women. Mm. He don't want nobody older than him. 45. She's 42. Since you said that, I'm saying 45. Yeah, well, I'm changing mine. (laughs) 38. (laughs) She's 44. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. And special mention, we're about to go into Black History Month, and the wonderful um, Harriet Tubman was also born. On this day, how do we know? Well, that's what it said in Wikipedia. Okay, (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say it, it was in Wikipedia, it was Mm -hmm. on Celebrity Famous Birthday, so that's where I got the information. How many slaves she took over? About 120, right? I wouldn't know. She helped free the slaves, and she died about 800 years old when she died. You need to shut it. Let's see, I actually have her death date. She died March. 10th of 1913. She was born in 1822. Yeah, I told you she's like wow, 200 so years old. She, she was, was 91. 19, 19, yeah. minus 1822. Yeah. She was 200 years 91. old when she died. She was 200 years old. Okay, uh, news, quick news. Uh, um, the Okay, so you know about the, the trade offer, right? Uh, Anthony Davis asked oh, for a trade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he got now, hit in the, the NBA has fined him $50,000. Fifty G's. Yeah. yeah. So the question is, why won't they find LeBron James for even say, for even saying, yeah, we would love to have Anthony Davis. Cause you can't talk about a, 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 a player on contract. No, 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 no. Let's, let's get no. this right. Let's it, back it, up a little bit. The media, straight, yeah. the media went to him and asked him about Anthony Davis. Yes. And he said, why would I not say I'd like to play with this player? There's nothing he, wrong with that. He mentioned yeah. I'd like to play with uh, Luca. He said Luka I'd Dunge. like to play with okay. Kyrie. He he mentioned a bunch yeah, of people. But it was all it was all on it was all on Anthony very Davis. Different. That's right. yeah, that's very different. Very different. Tampering. Anthony Davis opened that up. Open that hole up, and then do you think they're gonna trade him? Yes, they oh, have, to. Out there. <laughs> they have <laughs> to. But do they, you think they're gonna trade him to the Lakers? No, they'll probably won't. They'll, they'll probably either. do the same thing the Spurs did, send them off to Canada somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they did to yeah. Quiet, Quiet Leonard. They sent them off to Canada. Yeah, uh-huh. Said, okay, you go spend a year in Canada, and then you can go to L.A., but we're mm-hmm. not going to see you there now. And yeah. they're in no rush to trade them. No, no. no. They, I, I would probably wait till the offseason to mm-hmm. do it. You're That's going to frustrate right you even mm-hmm. more. So, And then you're going to really want to get out of there. Mm-hmm. And, and what's worse, he could really screw them. 
because if 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 they continue to upset him by nothing, okay, fine. That's what I'll I'm play. I'm gonna play out my contract, mm-hmm. and then you won't get anything from me. But then once I play mm-hmm. out my contract, number one, uh, it's gonna be Brink City right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be finished because if they don't get anything for him, which if I'm Anthony Davis, I, I was like, either you trade me to the Lakers, I'm going to play out my contract, you lose me for nothing, and then what? You got a $150 million point guard, yeah, Drew but Holiday. You, but you know the problem is, you know, the, the NBA can nix that trade anytime they want to. No, they can't. Yeah, they've nixed every other trade. They can nix the trade, but when he's a free agent, they well, can't. Well, he can't do that. anything when he's a free agent. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, Quarry Quarry Leonard is interested in joining in joining LeBron James in the Lakers. Quarry, Quarry. Oh, Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, yeah, Kyrie Irving, Kyrie yeah. Irving for oh, Boston. Yeah, yeah, he's interested in joining uh, Somebody the Lakers. It. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think that's one of those deals where now it's getting to the trade deadline. You're gonna hear all kind of stuff thrown out there. Yeah, it's just I don't know how that's possible. You, you had you were with LeBron. <laughs> yeah, I buy, right, right, I right. And y'all, into, and y'all didn't, y'all didn't well, like each other when you was with each other. Right, I don't buy that. I want to buy into what's going on now, but buy into an off season get you. That's when things gonna start really heating up. Yeah, because ain't nobody gonna do that. And then Trey Young said, I mean, yeah, Trey Young says that he will play better. He's a, he, he's a better player than Luka Doncic. Oh man, and he says he's he says he's going to be the rookie of the year. We'll prove it. Well, right now you're behind. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll prove it. I have something to say to that a little later in the show. I, I, right. put, I, I, I put down some numbers to uh, have some fun with that. To nix that, right? Not to nix it. Nix it. No, not at all. Luca at this moment is a better player. Right. right. Of course he oh, is. The stuff, he, the stuff he was doing the other day uh, in, in a loss. But I just think mm. we're overlooking. Trey, Trey Young's having a good season. Yeah, he's having a good season. He's not having as good as Luca. He's not having a Luca. He's only season. saying that because the Hawks are really feeling mad about themselves right now. They had Luca Doncic, but and they traded him. They want to trade Young, so they wanted to draft. Well, the Mavs wanted the Hawks to draft Doncic, uh-huh. and then they get Trey Young in reverse. In reverse, almost, yeah. You know, based upon the draft position. But the Hawks did that twice in the draft. They drafted a the player and then let him go and for the other another team's player. Well, how you feel now? Yeah, I know. Mad. <laughs> the GM gets fired. So, got another question from the audience. Okay. <laughs> is Romo a better broadcaster than quarterback? Ooh. We got to answer that later. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's on the answer? table. No. It's on the table for later. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, put it on the table. Because the comments are stacking up, so it might not be a better. Better Jason Witten. No, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's who, sure. who broke the Pro Bowl trophy? Oh, my God. <laughs> But it was it was number number one. It was probably put together it's cheap, that cheap anyway. anyway. It's it's probably just like the Pro Bowl it itself. Cheap it doesn't matter. That, and, that's embarrassing. You don't you don't that number one. You don't pick up the tro- you got to pick it up by its base, right? So much power. Got power. No, you pick up the trophy by its base. He's about to be unemployed. It's what's right. about to happen to him? Jason Witten. He's gonna be the tightest um, coach for the Cowboys. <laughs> not only he 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 broke the trophy, but during the broadcast. If if you was listening, I'm not sure if you listened and saw the whole game, but the touchdown that Pat Mahomes threw to Eric Ebron, mm-hmm. he made the comment by saying, "Yep, Mahomes been throwing to him all year." Yeah, but Ebron is. Not- I'm like, what did you just say? <laughs> the kid, Ebron's with the Colts. Yeah, Ebron's Indianapolis not- <laughs> Colts tight end. I'm like, what? oh he my god. Die- was he drinking? <laughs> No, but now, oh. now, now, to 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 oh Witten's to, to Witten's defense, he is not the worst broadcaster. No, uh, he's close. No, no, no. We've had we, we've had the worst broadcaster on our show. He's bad, man. No, we've had the worst one on our show. Who was the worst one? You know who I'm talking about, right? No, Eric Dickerson. Um, yeah, and he'll tell you. <laughs> we've had him on our show. He'll tell you. Oh yeah, he won the he that wasn't his gig. Yeah, he he did admit that, but yeah, I'm, I mean I don't know, but. Yeah, Jason Wood didn't have a good day. Nah, he, 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 it wasn't a good day in the office. Yeah, for him. A good year. When is, I was gonna say, when has he had a good day? You know, making comments. He pulled a rabbit out of his head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he said he said that this year. Believe it or not, right, right, he right. He didn't say that this year. He was trying to be more like a Romo, don't you think? He needs he to needs stop. A, he yeah, a coach. yeah. He exactly. He needs a coach. No, well, he, he needs to, to be coach. a coach. <laughs> well, he needs to coach, but if he's going to be a broadcaster, he needs a coach to help him. Yeah. They thought they could do a, the same thing they did with Romo because Romo didn't have uh, nothing. They just see, came right in, put him right in, and it was over. was a quarterback. 
back, and he already had a quarterback pain, so he reads the, the game. The, the game slowed down for Romo. It just slowed down yeah. while he was in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he said. Well, I'm just saying, Romo had, I think he was prepared to be a broadcaster. Mm -hmm. I don't think Witten was prepared. Witten didn't know what to do. Witten, Witten wasn't prepared to retire. No, I don't think he was either. <laughs> I think he should have stayed one more year. Well, when, when he mentioned he and Mahomes been throwing the Ebron all year, I'm like, like oh, <laughs> man, you just laid like, it up, bro. It's done, yeah. It's done. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he won't be, he gonna be on the F team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, so. Tell your wife, don't be giving us the score for your son on our comment. Oh, is she doing that? I'm I need kidding, to keep. I'm kidding. I'm oh, Okay, I, I need. To keep... <laughs> she said your your son just scored the last two minutes of the game. Conrad got the win, sixty to twenty. All right. Woo -woo! Yeah. Way to go, Conrad. Yay! That's my boy. That's family. That's my boy. To my basketball. Yeah. Okay. That's family. JT thirteen. I'm just kidding, D. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We round it up. Yeah. Round it up. All right. So this has been four one Sports Talk Radio. When we come back, uh, let me give you the the uh, the college. We got college roundup. Well, we're not coming up. We're going to go into right into College Roundup, right? I think so. Okay, so we have College Roundup coming up. Four Down Territory is right after that. Mm -hmm. uh, after that is entertainment. Uh, who We've been missing entertainment for like the past, what, 20 years now? now no. <laughs> we had entertainment last <laughs> week. It was just a different version of entertainment. We had it last week. Um, uh, he Say, She Say is back. Yes. Wow. We had He Say, She Say two weeks ago. What are you talking about? Well, it's back again. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the Stop trying to yeah, uh, uh, NFL. Uh, who's who? Who wins the Super Bowl and why? Uh, NBA did Luca Luca Doncic get snubbed? Possible Anthony Davis trade destinations? Mm, no, he didn't get snubbed. Yeah, I think he did. No, and then final didn't. words, no. wrap up, <laughs> and then we got next preview. Yes. All right, so boom, let's run right into college roundup. All right, All right we're going to do it a little different this week, mainly because there's not really a lot of college football. Not really much to talk about basketball wise just yet. <sighs> It's better come closer to March. Mm -hmm. So um, the NFL, obviously all the offseason stuff is starting. So the Senior Bowl um, they just had. And the, the good thing about it, the reason I brought this up is because you had sent me a message about the, the 30 worst quarterbacks. Yeah. Okay. So I got to thinking about this when I was watching the brief moment of the Senior Bowl. There are a couple of quarterbacks who um, stood out that everybody was talking about. Uh, Drew Locke and uh, Daniel Jones. Locke uh -huh. is the kid from Missouri, has the big arm, has accuracy issues, has the size. And Daniel Jones went to Duke. Oh. Uh, I don't know a lot about him, uh, to be honest. Well, but I got to thinking about this. How many times have we seen somebody go play well in the, in the senior bowl or is it thought of highly? They get drafted or move up the draft board. And, and then they make him number one, and next thing you know, he's a bust. I got some names here for you. All right. That I wrote down that reminds me of that. Remember David Carr? Ooh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah remember he, he moved up, didn't he? He was going to be all everything. Uh huh. And he did it was all nothing. Nothing. He had, I think, that first year in Houston. I think they beat Dallas. Yeah, for but see, sakes. That, yeah, because they was coming out. That was that was that was Houston's inaugural year. Yes. Uh huh. That's right. And so, yeah, that that didn't didn't bode well. Well, this list had the 30 worst NFL quarterbacks of all time. Okay. I'm going to give you about five of them that <laughs> – I know one that should I, be on that. I thought coming out would be a lot better than they ended up being. And I know, I'm, I'm pretty I, sure most of you I guys know will one agree. that, would, that should, be, should be number one is Akeelan Smith. He's on the list. Yeah. They didn't have it in a certain order. No, they just, they they just put it out put there. It out mm -hmm. there. Akeelan Smith is on the list, and deservedly so. Mm -hmm. um, remember Heath Schuler. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Washington tennis, Redskins. Tennessee yeah, Washington quarterback. Redskins. Yeah, yeah. He, I remember, he was highly touted coming out, and he did nothing. nothing. He's on that list. Wait, wait a part of that list, I, I'm going to go back to Akili Smith. Akili Smith was actually saying, why did they draft me so high? <laughs> he, actually, he actually quoted, why did they draft me so high? What are they thinking? Oh, and Cincinnati too? Oh, my God. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Exactly. <laughs> I remember the Florida State quarterback Christian Ponder. Christian Ponder, mm -hmm. yeah. who Minnesota took, mm -hmm. and I was as stunned as anybody that he went in the first round because mm -hmm. he wasn't that good in college. So I was. I, I thought you were gonna say Chris, uh, Chris Winkie. Oh, he's on here too. <laughs> oh he's on this list too. <laughs> Chris Winkie's on this list too. He uh, he was old. Yeah, and he was uh, twenty eight in college. He, he didn't make it in baseball, so he went back to college. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, he won the Heisman. And, yeah, he did and, win the Heisman. And then he became 
NFL quarterback. He just didn't do anything. And your your friend is on his list. Uh, 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 oh, Nathan Peterman. Yeah, Nathan of course, <laughs> of course. I told y'all he's the worst quarterback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your friend is on this list. He's on the list as well. And another name that uh, I think everybody. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Mm. Brady Quinn. Ooh, oh, yeah. Brady Quinn. Name. Yeah. I actually remember the Brown. Went to the Browns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He came out big chiseled arms. Yeah. He just, uh, he was just looked going, the part. Uh-huh. Good looking. Just looked like. The man, and just was just you, not good. You mentioned the Browns. The Browns got most of these quarterbacks. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Johnny Manziel is on this list. Yep. Deshaun Kaiser. Yeah, is Deshaun on this Kaiser's list. on this list. Yeah, the Browns got <laughs> most of, most of this list. And That's then, why the Browns are sorry. The, the, <laughs> to me, the greatest <clears throat> fluke of a quarterback, and probably in the NFL, people actually were arguing he should go before Peyton Manning. Oh, Ryan, Matt Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan Leaf. Leaf. Yeah. Ryan, oh Ryan Leaf. Oh my God! My, my. You're talking about a head case. He had all the tools. He did, but it didn't have the head. If you saw him at Washington State, my, he looked better than Peyton Manning at Washington like State. That. He looked the part. Yeah. Except in the Rose Bowl when my Sooners beat him, Boomer Sooner Nation. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> who's the quarterback then? Nate Hibble was our quarterback. Oh my God! How come he's not on this? Nate oh, he, never, Hibble. he never went to the NFL. That's exactly right. <laughs> Nate Hibble was the quarterback for us at that time. Uh, let, let me give you this quote. I, I, I got to go back to uh, uh, Akili Smith because they, what they did on this list, they actually did the quotes, right? Mm-hmm. His quote was, what, uh, so this is what, what, this is what he's thinking at the, this moment. Mm-hmm. He said, isn't this hilarious? The Bengals must not know how, how to scout talent one bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a good athlete, but I, do, but, I, but I do belong in the NFL as a quarterback. Debatable. Do I deserve to be the third overall pick? Not even a chance. Whatever. He goes nothing. That's his quote. At that point, I would have cut him. Yeah. I would have never yeah. even signed him. If I would have saw that quote, I would have just bit that bullet and just, and just said, I just cut. lost this first But the pick. Browns don't do that, though. What well, it about, wasn't the Browns that drafted him. What about, that was Cincinnati. Not Cincinnati. What yeah. about Jamarcus Russell? He, I was going to bring him up, too. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he's the guy everybody, oh, he can throw it 60 yards from the knees. Well, this is the NFL. We, and, you don't throw and off then your one, knees. Once you own your knees, you're down. <laughs> <laughs> once you get on your knees, you're down. Unless you fail by yourself. This is a guy who didn't love football. He was the number one pick. He got a lot of money because that's before they didn't cap the first pick. Mm-hmm. Where the first pick got big boy money. And he got paid, and he didn't care anymore. Yeah. You know, he got – he was getting bigger. He's already big. Oh, he was he, huge. And then he got bigger. He wasn't smart enough to read defenses. He wasn't accurate enough. To it was like 270 or something like that? He was a huge guy. He was like uh, the kid from Kentucky, Lorenzen. Or yeah. The, the Jared Lorenzen. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm thinking of an, or another Dante Culpepper. Culpepper was big, too. Yeah, but Culpepper. But Culpepper has, had a he, – he, he had a stretch there where yeah. he looked like a top end yeah, yeah. quarterback. But, well, it was easy when you got uh, – when you got – Randy Moss. Randy Moss and, Chris, and Carter. Chris Carter. And then you got Robert, Robert, Smith. Robert Smith in the backfield. Mm-hmm. And then your defense is uh, John Reed. Randall. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. mean it's easy. No, nah, it doesn't mean it's easy, but still, though. You still got to go out there and, and take care of business. And perform. Mm-hmm. Rick Meyer. Because uh, our own team should know that. Right. You know, Dak Prescott, we had all those other people with that same team and couldn't win. <laughs> Rick Meyer. I, I didn't look at Rick Meyer as a direct bus. He was didn't at best he serviceable. Was okay for he a few serviceable. years. That's Service, right. Serviceable. That's right. I agree. He was just okay. But he wasn't. He, he was, Rick Jamar- Meyer was worse than him. Rick Way Meyer. Worse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I agree Shula with that. was worse than him. But Rick Meyer reminds me of a Steve Walsh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Steve, well, Steve Walsh better than Rick Meyer. But you, you get a one of you because they gave Steve Walsh all that money in New Orleans and he was just nothing. He was trashing with the Saints. Yeah. I mean. He he wins one game with the Cowboys. I was watching the game. Then they 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 the Cowboys decide I'm gonna stick. We're gonna stick with me. We're gonna trade uh, uh, Steve Walsh because there was no no free agency then. There was a plan B, so they traded Steve Walsh to New Orleans, and he was just nothing. Well, Rick Meyer, I mean, when he was with the Seahawks, he he had his moments, yeah, but moments. he was his ceiling was average at best. But his ceiling was as soon as he got out of college. Ceiling, we're talking about Tim Couch. Tim, now that's yeah, <laughs> and look who he's with, the Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns. Browns. Yeah, you know, you know who's missing from this uh, list? Who is that? Former Dallas Cowboy player. You know, guy, stop being uh, 
a drug addict? Oh, uh, uh, Quincy Carter. Quincy Car Car no, no, Quincy ah, Carter. Had, no. Quincy Car no, the reason why Quincy Carter is not on this list is because he did take the Cowboys to the playoffs. Well, not, come on. Man. Yes, he did take. I, I understand he that. He Quincy took the Cowboys Carter to the playoffs. That's why he's not a good list. NFL quarterback. But he took all. the Cowboys to the playoffs, so he, he had to have something. He needs to be on this list. No. Blake Bortles is on this list, no, which Blake, he is. Yeah, Blake Bortles is on this list. Quincy Carter needs to be on this list. Blake oh, Bortles was this close to taking to his take, team to the Super Bowl. If that's the case, we go ahead and go, go Trent Dilford. No, he won the Super Bowl. <laughs> no. No, they did Trent win the Super Bowl, yeah. It wasn't him that won the Super Bowl. It was Boston, yeah, the, right, was the start, defense. He was a starting quarterback. He won the Super Bowl. <laughs> but I wonder, I, I, mean, I wonder why why aren't any Cowboys – I mean, what happened to uh, – uh, Tony Banks is on this list. Tony Banks. Well, oh, he geez. wasn't the original Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't the original Ooh, Cowboy, he though. He wasn't the original Cowboy. He lost he, out to Quincy Carter. That I tells know, you all you need to know that was a year. <laughs> that was a year the Cowboys ran all black quarterbacks that whole year. Yeah. Yeah, Quincy what, Carter. Anthony Wright. Anthony Wright. <laughs> and Tony, uh, Banks. Tony Banks. Oh, my God. And that was a, that was a quarterback curl sale. Well, that was a carousel. That were they trying to prove a point that year? No, huh? they were trying to get quarterbacks in here, and didn't nobody want to come. That year, I mean, you had no. It was it was a two year stretch, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that year, every quarterback they had that year should be on this list. Yes, so that's I what I'm thinking. Think, I think Chad Drew Henson got thrown out there. Drew Henson, yeah, Chad Hennings. Oh my gosh, uh, who Chad else? Chad Hennings. Yeah, Chad Hutchins. Yeah, Hutchins. Chad Hutchins. There you go. <laughs> Chad. Hey, you was going to go. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you was rolling yeah, with Chad it. Hutchinson. Chad Hutchinson. Who else was up? Uh, Matt Ryan was. Uh, he's on. Ryan Leaf was on there. He was for a short. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, Clint Sterner. Clint Sterner. That was like one year. All five of them. All Sterner was the Arkansas kid. He kept hanging on. Jerry. Mm -hmm. Jerry liked him because he's Arkansas. Yeah. Jerry liked him. Okay. Okay. Speaking of quarterbacks, are we gonna see his his kid uh, in the Cowboys you know, uniform? His grandson. You mean his grandson. Yeah. You know my theory you behind know, that. Probably. <laughs> Come on now. If that Prescott is not playing at the level they expect him to, when he comes out. When he comes out, he's out of here. Mm -hmm, That's time. my theory. I'm he's out of here. Is his no. I promise you. No. Is his grandson good? Uh, his grandson is pretty good. He's <laughs> pretty high good. Yeah, yeah, he's good. In he's high school, they won, yeah, high school? Yeah, they won two he's championships. high school, though. Did he already commit? Yeah, he's in Arkansas. Oh, he, he committed, committed to Arkansas, Arkansas, yeah. I'm telling you, they, they, they're not going to let him go to any other NFL team but the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, you show that. So I'm saying – be I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say this for the record, like I said like about Pat that. Mahomes. Okay, I'm gonna say this for the record. <laughs> he like Babe Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is for there. the record. <laughs> Pay attention to the extension that Prescott gets in terms of years. All right. So as, got, it, right, as it compares right. to well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's the grandson. Be, okay. So the grandson is going in his the, freshman year. His freshman year. So fall. so it's got to be. So you're saying it's, it's a four or five year. If it's less than four years, look out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can see I, that. What if his grandson gets to Arkansas and, and gets, break his leg? That SEC defense and, and, and about, his and about Jack. His legs. Okay, who are we talking about here? Doesn't matter. The Doesn't, Jones. Family. No, no, no. The Jones wants to win. Who are we talking no, about? No, no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's right. The Joneses Jones want to win. I know they want to win. If if, if their grandson they are can't. Grooming if him. They, no, oh. doesn't matter. If, but if their grandson cannot get them a win. They're not going to draft him just Look, because they're a good grandson. grandson has That's probably already saying. seen the playbook. That doesn't matter. The okay. grandson has probably already practiced the playbook. It doesn't matter. Y'all got this. Y'all got gonna, get this we're, twisted. We're going to think... come back to the show years later. Okay. And we're we're going to be talking about let it. Me ask you a, let me ask Watch you a question. You. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. If I Matthias, like you know, you, you own a football team. Mm -hmm. And Matthias is just an average ho hum. You're running the mill running back. Ain't by Jack in college. You know, he's just doing his thing. Would you draft him? Yep, in the fifth round. And make <laughs> if it's my son, yep, I'm drafting him. That's my point. <laughs> son, that is run, my you point. You run a four, four? <laughs> you, I will find something for you to I'm do. Is, that, that's that's my point. Coming. That's the thinking they're going to have. <laughs> it could be the first well, round, seventh round. They're going to find a way well, to get him. He, he a running back running a five, three. You're going to draft him away. Yep. <laughs> Put him in blind yeah, back or something. going to feed you some steaks. Put you on the O-line, son. We'll figure out something. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do this right here. Let's move on because we got a lot to cover. Okay. We got to get into four down territory. Professor. Now, four down territory is something, is a brainchild of professors. <laughs> so, Mind boggling four question. Four down territory. Yeah, so he, he dropped, it, dropped on this the during the show. <laughs> during the show. Go for it. 
Okay, so most of the questions is going to be about Super Bowl trivia, but there's one question that's out there that I know we have all been hearing within the last week involving Sean Payton. So the question is, has he topped out in New Orleans? Has he reached his ceiling as a head coach with this football team? No. Yes or no, and why? No. Two years, two fluke plays. Those two fluke plays, without those plays, you're in the NFL, you're, you're, in, the, you're in the Super Bowl two years in a row. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the first fluke play, and it was, and, 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 and the feeling play was so so fluke that all the guy had to do was tackle. I don't call it a fluke play. That and, was just no, a, no, mem- no, that was a no, mental, a mental error. error. But that's a mental, but, and he whiffed on him. Mm-hmm. It was a serious mental error. Mm-hmm. But that will mean that, that, that he's topped out. So th- there, you're in the Super Bowl. This year, You've got the uh, uh, the non the, the, the non, in, non call yeah inf- now what I did see on that call though is the reason why they didn't call the pass interference because the ball was tipped it looked as though the ball was tipped it doesn't matter no there no was no two no. fouls on the play well you well you could have called the second foul helmet. you could have called the, the helmet yeah, the helmet they but the helmet that. but the helmet to helmet wouldn't have got you that far down it doesn't matter it was a flagrant foul they should have called that no no they should not there's no flagrant foul <laughs> I mean a blatant, blatant, <laughs> I meant blatant he. Purpose right, right. You should have caught the helmet he to helmet. With his head. You should have caught the helmet to helmet. But but here's here's the deal though. Once the pass was tipped, game. I mean, the once the pass is tipped, now we're looking for where the ball lands. We're not looking at what happens to the receiver. So once and, and you're right, it should have been a helmet to helmet. But we're not looking at that. We're looking at where the ball lands. So, but still though, that was another fluke pl- uh, penalty that should have been called. It should have been called away. Well, it should have been called. But 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 and they wound up they wound up uh, 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 fining. Who who's the uh, the the cornerback for you the Rams? Audience comment. Which one for the Rams? To leave or not talking about? Was that to leave? Yeah, the, the cornerback. Peters. Peter. Who's who? who no, he has him? he has a joint last name. I can't remember who it who's was, that? but it's not to leave oh, or Peters. Okay. It's somebody else. Is that du- double last name? Huh? Yeah, he has a a, a joint last a name. Hyphenated. Yeah, hyphenated. Name. I don't yeah. understand. I don't that. either. I don't understand it. We have okay, an audience right. comment from Pac Man from Famo Nation. Okay. What's up, Pac Man? What's happening, Pac? He said he got a few more years to go, I think. Yeah, mm. I agree. Okay. I don't think he's topped out. Coach? No, because when you continue, when your team is competitive every mm-hmm. season and you know going into the season you have a legit chance to win a Super Bowl, mm-hmm. if you can stay healthy, uh, you can't possibly be topped out. Right. I mean, they're, they're right there on the cusp. Mm-hmm. And like Bench Warmer said, some unfortunate scenarios have taken place to mm-hmm. to ruin it <laughs> mm-hmm. for them. So, no, Sean Payton's, he's got a lot of juice left. Okay, security? Sorry, I believe the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what he said. I think he, yeah, what he said. What he said. I think he's got some, some years to go. He's still young yet. Okay. He's still doing – I mean, look, the, the Saints – And he's not coming to the Cowboys. On. And he's not coming to the Cowboys. No. So, we need to throw that room out the window. He need to. We have an offensive line. He needs to throw that one out that, – that, that room out the window. I don't know look, why even the they Saints start that window. Saints continue to march in as long as they got – Mm. I, don't even, I don't even know why they start that. I don't know who started that. But uh-uh. And then everybody starts talking about it. Right now, everybody's talking about it because either side has not denied it. Right. Why would you even start it? That's media starting that. And why, why would I have to deny it? And media something? may have started it, but Sean Payton. now all of a sudden, you, now you're starting to see that when you talk to the camp for Sean Payton and for the Cowboys, they won't, they won't, they won't say anything. They're not coming. Because why say anything? Y'all, y'all the dummies who put that out there. I ain't got to respond to that. No, They're not denying it. And Sean Payton is using the Cowboys, so when his contract is up, it's going to get even more money than he's already making. He knows and that's a doing. very good point. He knows what and, he's and doing. And that, that could be it. So, so why do the Cowboys got to say anything? Because the Cowboys are just goofy like that. I ain't saying Jack. <laughs> we got our coach. I don't even know why y'all think that's that's the case. All right, second now. What position has won? Gary haters. What position <laughs> has won the Super Bowl MVP award most? Is it wide receiver? Is it quarterback, linebacker, or running back? Quarterback. No, that's too obvious. I know it is obvious, but it's either quarterback or running back. Yeah, you got to pick one. I think it's running back. Nah, it's quarterback. It probably quarterback? is the quarterback. It's quarterback. It's quarterback. They, they love to give the, the, the yeah, it's quarter, cause, MVP cause to the quarterback. Running back MVP was like, I think Terrell, Terrell Davis did one year. Um, hmm. You know, uh, uh, Emmitt, did Emmitt Smith do it one year? 
the pro the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yes, yeah. against, yeah. against yeah. the Buffalo Bills. Yes, against yeah. The, yeah. the second time. Yeah, he did mm -hmm. it one year. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, 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 Joe Riggins. I mean, Marcus John Allen. Riggins. John Riggins did it one year. Marcus Allen did it one year. Um, I'm trying to go back. In the '70s, oh boy, Terry Bradshaw <laughs> did it a couple of times. Yeah, he, he has uh, a quarterback. Mar Marcus Allen. Yeah, he did it against the uh, Washington Redskins. Yeah, against it? Washington Redskins. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, when he was just like out of, he was out of his mind. Um, all the what's so funny about it is Roger Staubach never got. Super Bowl MVP. The, uh, in, the in 1977. This has got to be quarterback. Yeah, it's quarterback. But in 1977, it was Harvey Martin. It was co MVP. It was Harvey Martin and, and, and uh, uh, Randy White. Okay. Okay. And then the Cowboys, it was uh, uh, Leeward, was it Leroy Jordan or no, Chuck, uh, Chuck Howley? In Super Bowl five. Yeah, I don't know because I, I don't think I was alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's your final answer, Mr. Warren? My final answer is quarterback. Yours? Same. And yours was running back. Finance was quarterback. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. I know. You thought it was going to be a trick one, right? Yeah, <laughs> <initially. laughs> oh, it was, it was a linebacker. Yeah, that's, that's like, so that's how many trophies obvious. were won yeah. by quarterbacks? I don't have that number. Um, Shame on you. Uh, so how could I know that your answer is right? Ooh. I, ooh. I research. <laughs> I, I research. I challenge. I challenge. I challenge. I research. Challenge flag. <laughs> Where's that red flag? Where's that red flag at? We should get one. Play. We should get – yeah, we're going to bring a red flag up here one day. Challenge We're just going to challenge, yeah, the challenge segment. All right, third down. Yeah, what, we need a challenge segment. That's a good one right there. What running back holds the record for career rushing yards in Super Bowls with 354? That's got to be Emmitt Smith. Repeat Is that again. It, mm -hmm. What running back holds the record for career rushing yards in Super Bowls with 354? You got to – You got to. Uh, uh, it's multiple choice. Well, okay, what is it? A, Larry Zonka. B, Rocky Blyer. C, Franco Harris. Or D, Jerome Bettis. Okay, so um, so Emmett's not in there. I no, 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 three no, Super Bowl, no, 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 he's not in there. Okay, so so Rocky Blyer and Franco Harris. Franco Blyer was number two. Um, Repeat the question one more time. What running back holds the record? Larry Zonka. Oh, good. Franco Harris for career. Yeah, Franco Harris for career rushing yards. In Super Bowls with 354. Yeah. What was the last one? Drone Bettis. Drone Bettis, Drone only, Bettis had only been in one with the. Uh, no, he he been in. Yeah, he's been in. Yeah, he's been in one because one or two. Uh, it's Franco Harris. It was Franco. I'm saying Franco Harris. Is that your final answer? I'm saying Franco Harris. Yeah. Yes. Because Franco Harris went to all four Super Bowls. Right. That's yeah, what I'm, right. I'm saying. Franco, Franco Harris. Harris. Yeah. It is Franco Harris. Yeah, he's been all the Super Bowls. Because my first thought is, who went to the most Super Bowls? Yeah, Franco know. Harris. That's what I was but see, Rocky to Blyer went to Rocky Blyer was I don't drafted. Know who that is. Uh, he was he was a fullback for uh, for uh, Pittsburgh okay. in the, in the seventies era. Exactly. So I don't know. so Rocky and Rocky Blyer was in the same. I think Rocky Blyer only went to three. And Franco Harris went to four. But Rocky Blyer was not the featured back. All right, which quarterback has the most career interceptions? In Super Bowls. <laughs> I want to say Neil O'Donnell. <laughs> well, I'm tempted to say Brett Favre. Is it, uh, is it A? <laughs> is it A? Buddy Holmes had two. Uh, John Elway. B, Tom Brady. C, <laughs> Kurt Warner. Or D, Tony Eli Manning. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> See, it's a toss-up between. It's John Elway. <laughs> yeah, it's a toss-up. No, it's a toss-up between Eli and Brady. It's it's John Elway. You think so? Yeah. Eli was spectacular. Oh wait 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 oh, wait wait. Bowls. Okay. In Super Bowls, Bowl. no, because mm -hmm. Elway went to four before he actually won one, he and he lost all four of those. He got one, but, he but was whipping in the San Francisco. He probably, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, probably he did. Threw all those <laughs> he did. in San Francisco. He did, he did, he did, he, but Eli, you're right. Eli managed. Went to, I mean, uh, Tom Brady went to like 1,200 Super Bowls, so he this had is some, his ninth Super Bowl. Right, right. So he had to throw some super, some interceptions then. But what's your final answer? You're saying John Elway? What's your final answer? Golly. Uh, give me, give me the, the multiple choice again. Is it A, John Elway, B, Tom Brady, C, Kurt Warner, or D, Eli Manning? <laughs> ah, man. But Manning's been winning every Super Bowl he's gone to, so. But he ain't been Eli. 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 I said Eli, Manning. I know. I said Manning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Eli we're talking about. Yeah, not We're Peyton. Talking Eli. Yeah, I know that, but still, he he still wins. But how many Super Bowls? I, he's has gone to he like to? he's gone to, to three, hadn't he? 
That ain't that many. Eli's been to two. Two. He's been to two, and he won both, both of them. against the Patriots. Uh huh. And one of them was and the he head stick. One of them was a head stick against uh, against Tom uh-huh. Brady. Tom so Brady. that takes Eli out. So then I go John Elway, Kurt Warner, Kurt Warner, or John Elway. Okay, so John Elway, Kurt Warner, or uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Uh, Kurt Warner has been to three. He's been to he's the greatest show on turf, so that was that 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 throws that off. Uh, he went to one against. He was a quarterback for uh, the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals, uh, and they almost won that game with that beautiful catch. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 San Antonio, uh, San Antonio Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, lucky catch. <laughs> it was a, it was gorgeous some, though. Some nonsense, right? There. Uh, he went to two with the Rams, didn't he? And one with the Cardinals. And one with the Cardinals. But he was good in all of them. He's good. Also, so, so, so take him out. So now we got John Elway <laughs> and Tom Brady. John Elway, John Elway went to four before he won one. And that was like maybe 10 years after he went to the four. And then he went to back-to-back. He won one and lost one. So he's lost five Super Bowls and won one. Why is he the greatest, greatest uh, quarterback? Who? Yeah, wait. Why is it so? Why is he? I don't. Oh, okay. Label okay. him as the greatest. You lose. You lose five Super Bowls and <laughs> win but you, one. But you still have to get there. Yeah, you got to get there. So in those five Super. Oh man. And now we go to um, Tom Brady, who's lost five Super Bowls. No, he has not. No. How many he's lost? He's five and three. He's five and three. Five and three. Okay, he's won five, lost right. three. And this is okay. Two against the Giants, one against the Eagles. <sighs> Can't handle that NFC East. <laughs> <laughs> he should, yeah, I know. I'm gonna say oh, Ray man. has been the not going to his ninth Super Bowl. Elway has been to Come on bench warmer. It's yes. okay if you don't get it right, sir. Six. <laughs> I would say I'm gonna say Elway. Okay. And go find an answer. I'm gonna go with Elway. Yeah, I'm gonna say Elway. I'm that is correct. Elway. John Elway. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I broke that down? <laughs> it was not necessary. I, I, told, <laughs> I told you the answer before. It's like that's you easy see, right there. I broke that down and just symbolized it. I just thought about who took the most beat downs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Them first four, he took he My took uh, the Giants messed them over. I remember the watching Giants that and one Washington. against the 49ers. The that's the, fi- the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. 55 to 10. 10. I would never oh, forget that score. That right there. They lit into him. Yeah. All right. Final. Um, Made him look mortal. Final uh, down. Which quarterback has never been named Super Bowl MVP? Is it Mark Rippon? <laughs> Is it Ben Roethlisberger? Oh. Is it Doug Williams or Joe Namath? All right. Take out this Doug. This is easy. Take out Doug Williams. Say the first one again. Take out Mark Rippon. That's R Y. P I E N. Yeah, he Mark had Rippen. that fluke year and won the Super Bowl that year. I, don't even I know can't who remember that how is. good he was. Mark Rippin. I'm Rippen. gonna say Mark Rippin because I don't even know who that is. <laughs> because uh, because you take you, you throw away <laughs> Joe Namath. They beat the Bills. Yeah, but they beat the Bills off the uh, uh, wide. They, they, no, no. They beat them bad. No, no, too. no. They beat them bad too. They beat the Bills bad. Washington beat them bad that year. But the the MVP was uh, Timmy Smith. Remember the running back who rushed for 222 yards? Mm-hmm. That was the MVP that year. Mark Rippon. Your final answer? Yeah, Mark Rippon. What's Rippen. your final answer? Joe Namath. Your final no. answer? Mark Rippon. Okay. You all are wrong. It's Roethlisberger. <laughs> Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben. He has never Big won ben. Super Bowl MVP. Okay, so who's the MVP? Who? I, because I and the game the you're talking so about good. was against the Broncos for Timmy oh, Smith. Oh, Timmy Smith. Okay, yes. okay. You remember that game? That's wow. the game. Doug oh, okay. Williams won the Super yeah, Bowl yeah. MVP. He was MVP, but, yeah. But Timmy Smith could have could have easily, easily won that, won that game. Yeah, right. yeah. I got something to say. Uh-oh. Is anybody else bothered by how excited Professor got that we all got that? <laughs> 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 Just go throw that out there. Wait, did you get it right? Just go throw that out there. Is that five down? No, it was Actually, it was. Okay. I didn't say anything. Was that was like, overtime. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, did you get it right? No, no I will not create these questions. <laughs> no, when you create the question, did you get it right? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, know. That, that was, was a good fun. one. That was a tough one. That, that was, was a, a tough one. one. Yeah. That's why I love four down territory. That yeah, that, yeah, that was that was pretty section. good there. Yeah. Right, that's it. 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 I didn't realize Mark Griffin right. won the MVP. He won. He won MVP in the game y'all were just talking about. He was right there on the game. 
against the Bills, he won MVP in that oh, game. Yeah, when I told you the they Bills. whooped them. When he slaughtered the Bills, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go to the But game. I thought that was a, I thought Timmy Smith was in that. I thought Timmy That was his only Super Bowl as a quarterback. He won MVP that, yeah. that, that particular that whole game. Fluke because of, year. Because the next whole year, year he got hurt and Doug Williams came in. Ooh. Was that no two No, years? that was Jay Schrader who got hurt Jay and, and, and Doug, Doug Williams. Williams. Okay, yeah. okay. But wasn't that Mark year. but wasn't Mark Re- Mark ripping on that? I, I don't. I have was. to check on that. I don't think he was. On I, don't think, I think he went all the way through. All, all right, sure. that's it. All right, well, let's nice. do this right here. Let's well. take a break. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we have um, we what do we have again? <laughs> <laughs> the I think hour the entertainment power. hour. Yeah, we got yeah yeah I something like that. I think you're gonna upset security with that. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let him do it. He got all the info here. No, nah, we no 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mama said knock you out. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a four one sports talk radio four one radio net four one radio four one radio network. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, also we need to talk about um our sponsor. Yeah, yes, yes. Brick House. Give us a shame. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Brick House Arlington is celebrating their seventh anniversary yes so congratulations the weekend of february 15th and 16th they are having what's called the seven blackout weekend so february 15th and 16th for reservations and seating you can call 817-460-9993 and i will post that on our facebook page so you can get that information that is actually um Valentine's Day weekend. Valentine's yes, well. it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, because yeah, Valentine's Day is at fourteen. <laughs> yeah, Valentine's Day is at Thursday. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Yeah, made up holiday. Yeah, it is. For women mm-hmm. to get for women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That it's should have been he say she say. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we can always change it because that is a conversation we need to have. Exactly. Is is it is it, <laughs> is it okay for women to to make up holidays like that? They oh, did not God. make the holiday. Uh, I did not say that much. That's not what he I'm said. I'm staying out of that conversation. <laughs> We're going to have a history moment next week. I'm going to do a history moment. Well, no, the uh, girlfriend talk will be here next week. But next week after that, I'm going to do a history moment about Valentine's Day. So y'all can understand. So we can understand how we got to give up gifts. Just so we can understand. I yeah. have not. I have never been like that. And you know it. How we got to go, go, go and find uh, uh, flowers and stuff you. like that. Don't even go there. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. Four One Sports Talk Radio. <laughs> Four Radio Network dot com. We will be right back. Yes. Yeah, yeah.
All right, all right, all right. We're back. Four One Sports Talk Radio on Four Radio Network dot com. Hiring an engineer. I got you now. <laughs> now we good. We good. We good. We need an engineer. They got this. We got this. We got this. Oh. We got this. All right. This is Four One Sports Talk Radio on Four Radio Network dot com. Watching me. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Uh huh. Hey, got, he's here. He's here, Kanetta. Don't hey, worry about it. Kinetta, yeah, he's, he's here. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is this is not a standing double. Well, my, <laughs> my question is, what are you doing? What are you what doing? Are you yeah. Doing? Why are you supposed to be at work? Ooh, <laughs> inquiring minds uh, want to know. I just want to know my records get 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 filed right. Right. <laughs> 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 Well, She's well, in Ross well. now. She said, I still didn't, I'm not hearing, are we? She's not hearing anything she at all? She said she's not hearing anything now. No, I don't know why, because we don't. What is well, she, was she looking at the, uh, was she listening Is she to? on the radio station or is she on the Facebook Live? Yeah, ask her where she's on, Facebook Live or radio okay. station. But she should be able to hear it either way. Uh-huh. She said she is working. She hears us. She just commented. Oh. She said, hush, Cedric. Oh, see? <laughs> you, you got some she late text. She's on your cover. You got late text. <laughs> That's bench that warmer. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Says so she's on FB. We're playing on FB? She's yeah. On Facebook. 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 Yes. Okay. We are on Facebook. Yeah, yes. right there. You All shared right. it, right? Everybody shared I it? I did. Uh, yep. I know you did. Yep. <laughs> A stalker. Did, did you share it? <laughs> See, now I'm, a, now I'm a stalker. Listen to Man, this. I'm a, I'm a go, uh-huh. look, I can't even get the word out to say share it before Coach shared it. I was like, dang, I just posted it. Called being on top of it. Being you are. You must be getting some notifications and all that stuff, which is great. Oh, now she's saying working, and she got emojis, but tears coming down. Laughing really hard. <laughs> well, that's a lot of time for people <laughs> who supposed to be at work. Exactly, exactly. No she just told you hush. What she do? <laughs> what she do for a living? <laughs> Your stuff is coming in late. I need her job. It is. I don't already said them comments. Well, I just switched over. She was inboxing me. Oh. oh. I, I got away from the inbox and I got onto our page and I see her comments. Oh, so she was Somebody's private. Phone. She was private emojiing you. Yeah. No, volume. no emojis on the on the comment Check line. Oh. Oh, that's, oh my that's, bad. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, over there. Over there. That's, that's the one who. Me. That's the one who. Kanetta said, "Don't hate on her." That's the one who saw us getting it wrong. Don't hate on her. She said, "Don't hate on no, her." No, she was talking to you. She talking to you. She said, "Hush, Cedric." See, she was talking to you. Hush, hush, hush. Even, hush. Put, even put a hush name puppy. behind it, so I don't know who Cedric is. <laughs> right. It's, it's anyway, about that time. It's about that time. About that I need my introduction. Come on now. Or saying the drop. I need a drum roll, some music. What's up? Cedric is, a, is, is Cedric hours. is responsible for special Ladies and gentlemen, boys effects. and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> no, not children. <laughs> I... She is security. We are scared of her, and that's why she's security. Where the sirens at? I don't like that. I don't. <laughs> I am not a scary person. Thank you. I know. We know. That. We know. That's you sure about the? You sure about the five minutes? There you go. That is not my music. Well, we need to get you some music then, don't we? Yeah, I need my own music. I need. She's super bad. Oh, <laughs> and, and and this is how you this is how you run out the whole uh, the, the other three minutes that we had left. I need um <laughs> uh a, a Beyonce song or something. Oh. Well, you we can't do no Beyonce song. Yes, you can. No, we can't. Just a little clip. Mm. <laughs> All right, what you got? Oh, anyway, so entertainment wise. I like, thank you, Coach, for um, putting the time and stuff together and keeping us on our toes, because mm-hmm. that makes me get my stuff together before Tuesday morning, so I had to get it together yesterday. So, um, you guys have heard about um, Chris Brown, I'm sure. No, I haven't. He got arrested, have not right? heard about, mm-hmm. okay, so Chris Brown got arrested in Paris. Apparently, Paris, France. Young lady, yes. Paris, France. Uh-huh. He was in Paris, France. Paris, Texas. Yeah, there is a Paris, Texas. There is a Paris, Texas, but we talk about Paris, France. Chris Brown. Yeah. Million. Old Chris millionaire Brown? is about to be in Paris, <laughs> Texas. Come on now. Come on now. So anyway. So, even struck um, oil or something. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But um, so he was in Paris and a young lady, I think she's 24, mm-hmm. um, on January 16th, she claims that he raped her for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then somebody in his entourage also molested her. And then another person brutalized her. Mm. Um, Mm. So she claimed that. And so they arrested him, Mm. come to find out. 
it was fine. Mm, of course. So, uh, you know, he went on his Instagram and he said that B is lying. You know, Chris Brown, he's young. He just put it out mm-hmm. there. He don't play. He don't mince words. He said, you know, a lot of people came to his um, to his rescue and to his defense. Mm-hmm. And so he hired a lawyer. And so he has taken legal action against the woman. Actual, for defamation. Defamation. And you should. And yeah, you should. Yeah. And you know should. what it brought me back to? Who did we talk about last year? R. Kelly? <laughs> I am not right. speaking about R. Kelly. Oh, yeah. Don't get I'm her not. started now. What did we talk about last year? Um, oh, was, I slept since then. Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, yep, sure, sure did. Yeah. Remember that? Remember yeah. he false. said mm-hmm. that false, if it was Tiffany a false Thompson. Yep, yep. Now I will say what her name on there. to the accuser when they are found out to be false. false? I think they need to serve some time. So he's suing her. Not only is he suing her in a civil matter, he defamation is suing of her for defamation is a civil matter, but he's also suing her for criminal. Yeah, Ooh. I would too. Mm-hmm. I would too because he had to go to jail for that. So let me read you what this says. Okay. The lawyer cites a criminal statute that relates to invasion of privacy. Violating, violating that law could mean a maximum one year prison sentence. And that's not even mm-hmm. enough time for that's me. That's not enough. Nah, it's it, not it's, enough because it, if he had been charged with that, first of all, you, you damaged his character. Well, you know, I mean, his character's already. already and, I mean, it's already been damaged. <laughs> it was but, damaged but considering what we're, what's has been going girl, on with the you know, R. Kelly's and Bill Cosby's of the world. Right, yeah. with all this Me Too movement stuff going on. So he's put in that category. You know, I mean, come on now. You you messing with people's lives there. But so, but women say it's right here. You say a year is not enough. You know what a year would do? It would stop these women from having these false that's accusations. That's what I was just about to say. It I is, think it, it should it, be it, more. It is, but it, but but a year would stop these women from having these false but accusations. But it should be a minimum, not a maximum. A minimum, a year. Oh, stop trust lying. me, a little cute little. Yeah, yeah, woman from petite, Paris or yeah, France, yeah, yeah. Petit, does not oh, want to spend a year no, in jail. Not, you should, they you. don't want to spend 30, day, 30 that's days what in jail. I'm saying. They, the minimum should be a year. If you tell them that you could get up to 10 years in jail for lying on somebody, that'll stop all that bull. I mean, but, I could, I could, I could, I could, now I can concur with you that. But I, but I would say this right here, though. I mean, How it's do, just like, okay, we want the maximum for men when they do that kind of when they do mm-hmm. the deed. So if we're lying, why should we not get the same kind of punishment well, but, but for, my, for putting that man's life but, at risk to go to jail and be taken away from his daughter? That's but, true. Let me, but let me ask you this question, though. My, let me ask you this question, though. How do you justify how big or how small a lie is? Because that's how you would justify the, the, the years that you would get. You'd f- try to figure out how big or how small a lie is. Well, I think it depends on how far she went with it. Because, like I said, she says that he, she was in his suite for 25 to 30 minutes while the other guests partied outside. She claimed that one of his friends raped her in a different room, and then the third individual also abused her. So she has alleged you three see all people. that detail? Yeah. Three people. It's so she's deep. accusing so three people. That, I'm like, one year ain't enough for you, honey. One yeah, year she, is not she, enough. She needs you done went a little too far. Oh, I have a much time he would have gotten had he been convicted. Thank you. That it probably be should it. be the amount of time she should get for falsely accusing. Right, right but you really right. can't, but you can't Why judge it. Because, because first of all, if it's a jury, when I, number one, it's a jury trial. trial. Number two, if it is a jury trial and you get convicted. But you don't know if it's going to be a jury trial. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you you don't know go... that until they get to court, and exactly. And de- so you can't, and he determines whether he wants a bench trial with just the judge, right? So you can't. He wants so you can't determine how much time he would have gotten had he been convicted. You can't determine it. There's no way in the world you can determine that. So anyway, well, they they can tell you up to like like uh, security said, you know, up to a, a certain amount of years, <laughs> <laughs> up to a certain amount of years. Right. 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 So right. if it's so if he can get up to, up 10, to ten, then she should be able to get up, up to, to ten. 10. It should be the same amount of time that he would have gotten had, and then and then let the, let the jury and the judge figure make it that out. decision. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, exactly. I got you. I that's get right. you. But what I'm saying is that there has to be some kind of consequences for women lying. You know, it's not all women that lie. It's not all women that are out there. I mean, all men that are out there raping and and abusing women. So if you're out there, you know, charging these men for this stuff, I, I feel like it needs to be an even kill. Yeah, it needs to be an even feel. Something has bring, to. It has. Yeah, yeah. yeah something has to be done out there too. To to uh, that is just wrong. To to send a message to a woman, if if you <laughs> even think about doing this, you might want to think twice about right. what you're about to do before you ask to do now, it. Now let me ask you a question. You, let, then the other thing is that the women that do come forward and are telling the truth, now you have people questioning them. No cry wolf. Whether you're exactly well, well, but here. So when you do that, you're not only putting that person's life at risk that you're accusing, but you're also putting the women that actually have. It's like you're discounting what happened to them. I was gonna you know? go. I was gonna go that route, but my question to the, to there is: Are you now setting a okay? You set a precedent for those that come out and are and it's not true. 
But now, are you setting another precedent for those who, who remember, we had a lot, there's a lot of women that are afraid to come out because people won't That's believe them. Saying. No, no, let me finish. You have a lot of people that are afraid to come out that won't believe them. Are there, is, is that going to keep them back in the closet? No, no, no. If they don't believe me, then I can get time for something that, that, that you know, if I'm not believed and he gets off, then they can turn around on me. So are we saying, okay, let's push this. I, I, I don't want to come out now. I'm already afraid. You know, so if I come out, nothing will happen to me because I know it happened and maybe I can get him prosecuted. But if he's not prosecuted and then they look, they turn it back on me, I can go to jail for something I, that happened to me. You know, so we a guilty well, you person, shouldn't have liars in the first uh, place. Uh, first of all, a guilt, a guilt, well, you got the world. You shouldn't have liars. A guilty person is going to be too happy they got off to be worried about coming back at you. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying those, I'm saying those that it it happened to. Remember that, that it actually happened. A, that to. it actually happened. Remember, we have ladies that have are that have been sexually assaulted that are afraid to come out because of what the stigma is if they come out and in. And they look at when we say, oh, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, and then they, and nothing happens, you know. So now, is that going to push them back a little bit further from not from not coming out? Because if they if they their accuser is found not guilty, then it can all turn. And the accuser can say, hey, now I'm going to get back on you. Well, that's what I'm saying. The accuser who knows deep inside that they are guilty, they're not about to come back at you. They're they're going to be happy they got off. Well, but you can't retry them now. You never know. You, you, you cannot retry him. Double jeopardy happens all the time. You can't retry him for, for a case that he's already been tried for and found not guilty. So he knows he's not going to get back on that case, so I can go back after you. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, you know, those things you got to look at. Well, Kaneta says he was in a whole different country, and their laws are different. <laughs> This working lady. You know that's why they're laughing, right? Canetta, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> they laughing at you, girl. They like you need to be at work. Oh, we love your input, but, Canetta. But look, I need Canetta on here because you know, say man, y'all be trying to. You gonna let your woman talk to you like that? <laughs> Bench woman, don't be instigating. So anyway, so next up, what's the next? The, the, the news briefs for entertainment, Kanye West. Oh. Really? Okay, I was going. I was. I was <laughs> I, I'm trying to work out my system. Go ahead. Kanye Go West. Ahead. So y'all know he's married to Kim Kardashian. Of course, yes. everybody knows. So the game, another yeah. rap artist, mm -hmm. comes out with a song on Thursday. Oh my and god! What does he do? He talks about him and Kim's escapade. Enter in, encounter. Why? Yes. Yeah. Why? Yes. Just why? Now, Kim is why? trying to be, you know, Kanye has tried to make her an honorable woman by marrying her. They have children together. They're living their life. They are trying to be, in, you know, above. Several. Yeah, they're trying to a be couple, a, nice, a nice good couple. couple yeah. A good, clean couple, as mm -hmm. they said on, what was that, Coming to America. They're mm -hmm. a good, clean girl. So, <laughs> good, clean girl. <laughs> good, clean girl. So Kim is trying to be, she's trying to be a wifey now. Mm -hmm. You know, and so the game comes out with this song and what's Kanye, the name of the song? I don't even know. I, I, you know, nobody really listens to the, the game. I don't if you don't live in game. California, you yeah, probably don't listen to it. Even my cup of tea. I just saw the news and I was like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so this probably would be a he say, she say question later on. But the question is, if you, they, there's a saying out there that you can't make a hoe into a wife. housewife, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not saying that that's what she was, but she was out there. She was the one that was one of the first people to put a sex tape out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's kind of how she got her name and become the Instagram goddess and everything. So should Kanye have kind of expected that, you know, some of her skeletons would come out the closet? Mm hmm. You know, yeah, but not like that, is. though. Not this, like this that. This is what this is. This is a, a, an example of a guy who hasn't made an album worth listening to in a long time. Chinese and what's stunt? the best way to get back in the news? Go after people who are in the news all the time. Mm -hmm. That Kardashian family is always in the news. Always. Not always in a negative light, right. but mm -hmm. they're always in the news. Mm -hmm. Kanye West is still at the top of the game. One of the top star. in the game. And, right. And she's still a big deal. Ray J does the same thing. He still brings her name up on yeah. occasion. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Well, he has since apologized. What she was is not what she is. Right, exactly. So he since apologized, but the next thing is that her sister, I believe it's Kylie Jenner, mm -hmm. who was 
not of age yet, he also speaks about something he did with her. In that oh, song. So they are now like investigating. Lawsuit. Yeah, they're investigating to see if he was dealing with underage girls oh, like R. God. Kelly. So he, so he might have got his little self in trouble. So trying the to game arcade her, huh? What I mean again, <laughs> she's not at that age now. She's, she's not, but at twenty one now. No, but statute, yeah. but but statute limitations. Yeah, you can go back. He's talking about she's she was not. Underage. She's not gonna. I'm just saying. I'm got just saying. That's she what got arcade. About. So keep your ears to the ground because that's something that might be coming up in the news. It's kind of buzzing under the radar. Got to question their taste in men. Gotta yeah. Do that. My oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, they who they are. Man. Travis Scott, like he might be a good dude, but ooh, tough. They call it the tough. Kardashian curse. Because <laughs> mm-hmm, oh everybody God. go there. Canetta said dumb self. <laughs> <laughs> everybody go there. All right. Shoot, look and up. one more, one more brief, one more brief. Um, have you guys watched the documentary about the fire festival with Ja Rule? I have not. Yet. I have not. Okay, so, so on Netflix, two. right? There's two. There's okay. one Netflix on Netflix and there's one on Hulu. Okay. Now we watched both. Um uh, we are crazy. Mm-hmm. So he says, okay, which one are you going to watch? Normally, we'll watch stuff together, but since there were two of them, he went and watched the one on Hulu. I watched the one on Netflix, and mm-hmm. then we switched. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, excuse me, so we could both watch it. So anyway, so basically, um, Ja Rule, um, his friend, Billy McFarland, mm-hmm. that's the Caucasian young man, uh, came up with this idea to have this grandiose um, festival mm-hmm. in the islands. What was it in the Bahamas? It was yeah, the Bahamas. It, yeah. It, it started out on. Uh, um, it was supposed to be Pablo Escobar's, Pablo Escobar's island, but mm-hmm. they were not supposed to say mm-hmm. it was his island. They weren't supposed to use that in any of their publicity. Well, they did. First thing they put out was Pablo Escobar's so island. So once they did mm. that, some of their backers pulled out. They told them they couldn't do it on the island, so they had to move it to another. Well, the island. family came and said, "Get off the island." Yeah, it was a whole because they didn't want they want to keep. Escobar's name out of it. Right. Mm-hmm. So that kind of, you know, messed up their plans, but they had already, they were charging people like $10,000. Somebody paid $800,000. Mm-hmm. They were paying loads of money to be on this exclusive island with all these uh, models and, you know, stars and stuff. They had a whole bunch of names, mm-hmm. like big name people that were supposed to be at this performing, festival yeah. performing, um, you know, all the girls. So they, the models did a lot of commercials and promos for this thing. So they were supposed to have these villas that they were in. They were supposed to have these five course meals. I mean, everything was just supposed to be grandiose when they got there. Wait, wait. Let me say this right here. It would have been okay if they had spent their money and never got there. Mm-hmm. The problem is they spent their money and got there. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. If I lose a thousand dollars, okay, I lost a thousand dollars, but I lost a thousand dollars. I get to get there and then go from there. Go okay. ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. No, go ahead. You got it. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want anyway. to add that. Oh, thank you. You need any more? To no, add? Yeah. Okay. I'll, so. I'll jump in when I need to. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to stop watching stuff with him because he just take over. <laughs> he take over my stuff. Anyway, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, anyway, I, now I lost my train of thought. Once they got there. Oh, once they got there, so they're they're on these buses. Mm-hmm. Now they're supposed to be driving up in limos. I mean, they're supposed to get in first class service, mm-hmm. and they're on this big yellow bus. School buses with the bobblehead. <laughs> Y'all have to watch it. You, it it is something that you have to see yourself. It's it's hard to explain the whole you know spectrum of what happened. So they're on this bus. They're already upset. Because the jet they came in was a tight. Yeah, it was a propeller jet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to come in on luxury. First class. They Everything came in on coach. You done paid $10,000. $800,000. You know what I'm saying? five star service. You flying exactly. coach. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't even flying coach. You flying on a prop plane with oh, like wow. 15 seats. <laughs> Oh, wow. Crowded up on other people, so they they get there on a prop plane. Then they get on this big yellow school bus with no air conditioning on it. With the bobblehead. With the yeah, you bobbling <laughs> up and down, going up and down these dirt roads. Then you drive up, and you driving up the road, and all you see is white tents across the beach. Tents, tents, and it had been raining. 
storming. Mm-hmm. By the time they get over there, they're like, this can't be the place. Right. They hope they, 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 hope they, they drive, drive through. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. A tent can be intimate? No, not these. Dude. <laughs> okay. Dude. They were tents and they were side by side. They were igloo oh. tents. They were, I wouldn't call them igloo <laughs> tents, but they were side by side. So so they, they're looking around. They're like, I know we've got to pass this place. This is not where we stay. And the driver like, Because you're nope. supposed to be in a villa, you know, right. covered, you know, mm-hmm. cabana, you know, all this stuff. The driver stopped it. The driver get off. stopped. They get off. They go into the tents. The beds are soaking wet. wet. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. Then they serve so them they their meals. Water bed. They get a water yeah, bed. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then water they mattress. serve them their meals. It is like in a styrofoam. cheese toast on a sty- in a styrofoam plate, like toast with cheese and eggs and something else. One of the persons, um, one of the persons showed it on their Instagram and they're like, this is my meal at this fire festival. You, you know how you go to a hamburger place and they give you a hamburger and the bun is open and you got a little little cheese right there and a little something over here, a little tomato over here. It was and terrible. That, that was your meal. Wow. It was terrible. It was terrible. Wow. So you, you're looking at these people and then all these people, of course, are on social media. Like, this is my vacation that I paid $10,000 for. Mm-hmm. You know, so everybody's like, what is going on? So literally... You need to watch the documentary. I don't want to tell the whole thing, but I need you to go. How long and is watch it? I may it. watch it when I get home. I want to say about it's about an hour, about and, a half. and a half. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, long. that's not too. Yeah, bad. yeah. Well, now the, the 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 guy who put this whole thing together stood up on this little trunk or something like that. All these people are sitting around trying to figure out what to do. Now this is late at night. He said, "Okay, y'all go get your tent." So everybody's running to go to go get a tent. Mm-hmm. They're just rushing to go get a tent. Now remember, this is five star stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and they couldn't even get off the island. They could because they didn't have no money. They were stuck. And they were supposed to put these things on a, on a wristband. All they, they said, don't bring your money. Put all your money on this wristband. Yeah. Where well, they was, put the money was. on the wristband, the wristband is the money is gone off the wristband. <sighs> so and, needless to say, yeah, yeah, it's wow. you know, um, you you'll see all of that information, and then you will find out um, about the young man Billy McFarland, where he came from, how he came for the idea, and the people that he had on his team. And there were people that were like, okay, once they told them you can't use this island and you need to move it someplace else. And there were a lot of things that were going on behind the scenes. They were warning him and telling him, hey, we need to back out of this. Mm-hmm. We need to mm-hmm. stop this. You know, we need to give these people back their money and we need to try this again another time. He would not listen. He's like, you know, it's, it's move forward time. Mm-hmm. You know, so all these people, and there were people that were, I mean, just not only the people that paid their money, but the people that live on the island. Right. Like the lady that was catering the event, she was like, oh, they told me it was going to be this many people. It ended up being this many people. I think she spent like, what, $50,000 out of her, her own home. pocket mm-hmm. to try to feed these people her while savings. they were there. Her own yeah. money. Wow. Um, and she not only had that money, she had to pay her workers. Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, I got to live here. Y'all leave it. Mm-hmm. I have to live here and I'm part of this fraud. And it still hadn't gotten you know? paid. Wow. Well, no. The update is someone did a GoFund for her. And they've raised enough money to pay her. Her, but her. the uh, but others. No, she paid the people out of that money. No, I'm talking about the other. other oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying, there, there's so much after this. Um, the documentary, just like with the R. Kelly thing, the documentary brought a lot of things to light. Mm-hmm. So they are investigating even further now to the the models that did the promos, mm-hmm. and they're pulling a whole bunch of people in on the state because the only person right now that's serving jail time is the guy Billy McFarland. Um, I believe Sounds he's got like six years. Scam. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. On October 11th, he was given a sentence of six years in federal prison. Federal prison, y'all. Right. Mm-hmm. Six years. Federal prison. You know federal prison. He's going to yes. be in there doing his nails. Um, but he's ser- currently tennis. serving. Exactly. Currently serving at FCI Otisville in New York. And what's so crazy is, I think in the beginning, didn't they say they, they were going to just give him probation? Mm-hmm. And then he went and did something else. Yeah. He mm-hmm. sent out something else trying to get people to go to do something else and donate. Was it $1,000 or something? You got to watch he, it. He was trying to sell tickets. Just, to, he did he, not learn his lesson He was yet. trying to sell tickets that he couldn't sell to an event that wasn't, pay, wasn't giving tickets. Yeah. Mm. And he was trying to create a <laughs> platform to where you could book artists to come out and, and do stuff um, through his website. Mm-hmm. It, it's... It's so uh, it was such an intricate thing that he was trying to do. I mean, the vision was great. And Ja Rule, how he got into it is because that's his friend. Mm-hmm. And he brought him in. He's like, okay, big name. Let me put him in here. Of course, Ja Rule hasn't been big in a while. So let me try to get on board with this. And 
He like, look, he pulling back. He's like, I ain't have nothing to do with that. How many of y'all listen to Ja Rule for business ain't advice? Ain't nobody listen no, to man. him <laughs> for even his I rapping. I listen to his music. For business, business, business advice. Like, I ain't yeah. even listen to your music. You so. listen to Ja Rule for business advice? Oh, I was just, you know. I got, well, I got him confused with Nas at first. I was like, what is his name? Yeah, who listens to Ja Rule for business advice? <laughs> wow. I, I'm now I'm intrigued by that. I'm gonna have to watch. Yeah, you gotta it. watch, watch it. it and and watch the the Hulu one too. Watch both of them. You know, watch both of them. But mm. the the Netflix one I think is more um, more detailed, um, and it it talks more to the the people that were involved on the team. Yeah, the Hulu one interviews him. Oh, why right. they going through this whole thing? Right. So he's asking. They're asking him questions while they're watching this. Right. Oh, okay. And they're not throwing softballs. <laughs> and they shouldn't. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So that is it for entertainment news briefs. Okay. Um, of course, you know, that, I mean, real quickly that um, Taraji P. Henson, who's the one that likes it? Me. Mm -hmm. Got her star on the Walk of Fame. Deservedly so. Yes. She deserves it. Deservedly she does deserve so. It. Shout out to Taraji. Yes, to Taraji P. Henson. Got a movie Got coming out soon, too. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see it. February that's, 8th. Wow. What, what do, men Yeah, that's want. nothing but a play on Mel Gibson's movie. It is. <laughs> what a twist. What a that's twist. It's okay. That's, that's all, all, is all is that is. As long as it's funny. Hater. cats live Hater. all day long. Yeah, man, we don't talk bad about Taraji. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So Hater. I can't say nothing about Sanaya. Sanaya. <laughs> Sanaya. Get her name right. Or That's Taraji. Roger right there. Or Taraji. Can't or Taraji. say nothing and about her. And I like Sanaya, too, no so I'll take them both. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> I'll, take, uh, I'll take Sanaya, too. I'll take them both. No, my goodness. <laughs> oh, and James Ingram died. <gasps> yes. No. Breaking news. Yeah. Breaking news. James Ingram. How Ingram, yeah. old was he? Are he was serious? not old. Yes, he passed away. He was, I think he was like 61 or something like that. That is not old. No, that's not old. Yeah. Oh, I love me. You're going to have to put some James Ingram on the radio. We're going to do a tribute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That, that was James. not James Ingram. That was uh, <laughs> Michael Mike Donald. McDonald. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He was the love. Love song man back in the day. Oh, he died of cancer. He's, he was 66. Oh, no, that's so I sad. Didn't know he was sick. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh, you done put a damper on my head. Say, she said, You could have waited till after we finished the question. <laughs> now I'm sad. You know, my mom used to play James Ingram all the time. That's how I knew of James Ingram and love songs and all that stuff. She okay, to... look at it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not. I'm no, sorry. that's the Doobie Brothers, Mike McDonald. Michael McDonald. Get it right. <laughs> Compliment. Right. Is what she does. Yeah, you need Cinderella. to. Yeah, you need to listen to that song just because. closely. Okay. Okay. Got, before what's happening here? What, before, what's before, happening? Before we start with before we start with he said she said I got something. Okay, this is a part of he said she said. Well, I got something. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine actually bought tickets to the uh, Super Bowl for this year, and uh, um, is this, this joke that's been there was twenty around? there was twenty five hundred dollars. And uh, 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 um, what, what happened was he didn't realize that the Super Bowl was on the day he's getting married. So he's actually giving away, you know, he, he's actually, he, he wants someone to take his place. So he's telling you that um, she'll be in a white dress. <laughs> she, <laughs> she'll be the one You need left. to write the joke there so you can get it right if you're going to bust uh, in on the it's at, segment. It, it's at this church because <laughs> he's going to. Okay, moving on. He's he, going he to the Super Bowl. The joke. He messing the joke up. You, you got that right. Um, Kaneta said, watch yourself, Professor. I mean, yourself. <laughs> Want to read that comment again? She said, watch yourself, Professor. I don't know what she's talking about. Watch yourself, Professor. I mean, yourself. I don't know what she's talking about. but Tell anyway. her she typo. <laughs> she probably typo. Well, anyway. she can't typo if she ain't working. <laughs> anyway, so y'all ready? My boy, yes. My boy Perry so, says, Sanaya is number one, Taraji number two in his top see five. See there? <laughs> See there? <laughs> Y'all are funny. I can't speak to it. That's Let me give you my top five. Oh, Lord. How can we say nothing about Neil Long? Uh, See? We're talking about I better actresses. Be one. See? We're talking about actresses. Have had relevant I'm an movies I'm here on lately. The show. Oh, Neil Long? <laughs> what is the last big, good big movie Neil Long done? What about Angela Bassett? Oh, oh my See? God. Wow. <laughs> you, no, I'm out on it. That's yeah. like really? she, she got too many six years old. That's what I'm saying. She's you're out. Oh, yeah. I'm out on Angela. If you watch 911, 
Oh my she is God! She gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? For her age, look at her okay. arms. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, did you see her yeah, in yeah. Tina Turner? No, the, I did. I mean, no, if the, I was a guy, come on now. The age throws I'd run. The age <laughs> you get body slam. Uh-uh. <laughs> Angela Basket. I yeah, feel. She do this right here. I'd be like, yeah, I'm out. I'm you get out. body. I'm done with you. She would be a cougar. No, she'd be throwing <laughs> me around. I'm not interested in that. Angela anyway. Bass is 60 years old She's with aging a body well, like though. that. I will give her that. That's crazy. Holly Berry. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's crazy. I was gonna say I don't know if I can do with that craziness though. You know what? That's only what y'all see in the news. Y'all don't know that woman. Oh, she's crazy. Life. To me, I tell everybody, when, if you have five different husbands, When 12 husbands, men dis- divorce you, that's, crazy. That, you know. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. There's you not know. something wrong with every single person you choose. Right. Yeah. But that's another story for another day. Let's yes. go with that he say, she say. Thank you. Can we get to these say, she say? Billy Bob so. Thornton like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Y'all ain't approaching up on the wow. time. The I'm question sorry, is man. from the professor. Like from the professor. Okay. A woman gets pregnant. Oh boy. The man says he doesn't want the baby, but she has it anyway. Should he pay child support? Yes. Yeah, he should have put on a coat. Well, Th- this is the thing. Should have wore a hat. You lose your de- you you lose your chance to make a decision. Mm-hmm. The minute you get her pregnant, only if she has that baby or not. The only control you had is to pre- prevent from getting her pregnant. That's it. Exactly. Wear a coat or pull out. Once once she gets pregnant, out, you, you can politely ask her, hey, I'm not ready for this. Can we figure out another way to handle this where I don't have to be a father this early and see if she's willing to work with you that way? But if she says, no, I'm having this baby. What does that do to, to the, the child? child? You go. Wait, 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 wait. What does that do to the child? When he finds out that the 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 one that fathered me didn't, didn't want, want me. me, oh, it's damaging. It's damaging. Well, once the baby is born, a lot of people change. Yeah, yeah, you're right. A lot of people change. Some don't. Some don't. Some just and, and some just don't care. We, yeah, we know, there, there are sorry we know guys too out that, there. We already know that, that. right? I, I, mm. Yeah, I'm you know, too that's done that. But uh, oh, so they so totally take their hands off and walk away. So the question is, yes. Um, he should pay child support. Yes, absolutely. That 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 absolutely. Yeah, he should pay child support. That was quick. Yeah, you know, I, I will <laughs> always support child support in any situation because I have two boys. I love my boys, and there's never a thought in my mind that I wouldn't take care of them no matter what my situation was. Right, right. And if you're a man, me being a man, and any man out there that impregnates a woman and can't take care of his responsibility, you shouldn't have done it. Don't ever talk to me in a man fashion. You're a boy. Well, the other can't thing can't talk to me because I'm a man. So. The other thing too is this right here: you don't, for me, you don't lay down with someone that you don't see a future with. Mm-hmm. If you don't see a future with that person, then why are you laying down with them? Because you know, you never know. It could be like you have every intention of, okay, let me get in and keep moving, but she might pull you down, and you know how, you, uh, and then she pulls you, she pulls you close. Cause, cause, <laughs> Women are devious like that. Wow. <laughs> what in the wow, world? Sandra. I need a drink. What in the world? <laughs> Let me do that, though. <laughs> wow, says it. They do. Okay, I, I, I'll bite. They do. Yeah. And you like it. Uh-oh. Don't I don't know where this there. is about to head. <laughs> I'm just saying, as a man. So, you, New you England Patriots the, versus the... Uh... You're in the middle of having sex with someone, and you, you want to get up before you finish? What man does that? Yeah, I know. Because he, cause, cause he, he may not have been protected, so he's pulling out. The, the right thing to say is to go by, you know, what the Bible says and things like that. But let's live let's in be real. reality here. Uh, I know we should think about having a future with the person we lay down with, but let's get something straight. A lot of men don't think that way, myself included, at the, when you. I was 18, 19 years old. I'm mm-hmm. trying to find whoever's hot, trying to. Here's your difference. Pull though. off this what I call an accomplishment. <laughs> a and, trifecta. And, and, and try to find the next accomplishment oh, to conquer. That's just how we think. He trying to pull off the young. trifecta. Now, <laughs> as you get mature, you know, you 40 years old and stuff like that, obviously that mindset changes for the most part. Is that the age Not of for ma- everybody? Is that the age of maturity for a man 40? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, you know, I, sometimes I think us men never really <laughs> uh, fully 50. mature, but 
you know, I, I just think you just have to take on the responsibility. It's not a joke. This is another yeah, you have person. To. And, and you have to make sure that person's taken care of, especially if it's a young man, a young lady, you know, whatever the case may be. Right. You, you, have, you to. have to take care of your responsibility, period. Mm-hmm. I don't really care if it was an oops or whatever it was. It's your oops and mm-hmm. you right. do something about it. Mm-hmm. And if you wasn't playing on it, you, you, were, you put protection on it. And even that's and even not that, 100%. That's not 100%. Right. True. Right. 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 And that's mm-hmm. uh oh, wisdom from the professor. Yeah. Come on, professor. This is your question, so you want um, me to answer before you answer? Sure. Okay. Well, so, so coming, Jake, coming from a woman's perspective. Yeah, come up from a woman's perspective, I, I actually agree with you, gentlemen. I think that um, once you impregnate, you know, once it's in my body, you can't tell me what to do with my body. Mm. And um, if I decide to have the child, you're going to help take care of the child. You lay down with me. You know, you made this child with me. You can't just, after you do the deed, decide you don't want the child. You know, that was the risk you took when we laid down together. Mm-hmm. You know, so you can't, to me, after you've already done that, make the decision, say, I don't want it, and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I'm not a person that believes in abortion. So I'm not going to abort the child. I'm also not going to give up the child. You know, so... I'm going to take on my responsibility. You have to take on yours. So I don't believe in, you know, I'm going to lay down with you and then I'm just going to leave you with the responsibility. It happens, you know, and, and for me, I, I, you know, to me, that's a poor excuse for a man. It is. It is to me. It's like, okay, that child didn't ask to be here. You know, that child did not ask for you to make that choice to bring him or her into this world. So don't, Mm-hmm. Take it out on that child by murdering it, you know, by giving him away. Don't and not taking care of him financially. Don't rake roof that child. <laughs> that too. Please that too. don't. Yeah, y'all know who Rake Ruth is, right? Anybody that doesn't. He is know, out of jail, by the way. Yeah, he he talking about he wanted to have a relationship with his son. Boy, you killed my mother. Go on somewhere. And left him with uh, what did he have? Cerebral palsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had yeah. some debilitating disease and. He need to just move on. But, yeah, so from a woman's perspective, I, I feel like, you know, we both were responsible for creating the child. We both are responsible for taking care of the child because I'm not going to abuse my body and kill that child because you don't want to take responsibility. You're going to pay some child support. And I'm going to see my know? child. And you're going to see your child. I want you to have a relationship. I'm not going to force you, though. You know, again, you got to man up, take care of the child financially, and take care of the child emotionally. Don't just be a, 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 a sperm donor. Okay. And don't be the woman that if the guy decides he doesn't want you <laughs> right, to keep the baby, keep the baby from we him. We watch that. Um, oh. Because there's two sides mm-hmm. to this. Mm-hmm. It is. This, it is. That's why I asked the question. Here. I'm just waiting for somebody to, to, to you, say something about that. This mm-hmm. man over here watches the ID channel yeah, and Master the true Day. it, all them shows and stuff. I'll be like, why do you watch this evil stuff? There was a show the other day where this woman, um, she wanted to have a, a, the guy was 51 years old, and he told her up front, I do not want children. She got pregnant. She decided to keep the child. Once the child was here, he was like, oh, I want to have a relationship with the child. It was a boy, and I think it was his only child. Mm -hmm. So he wanted a relationship with the boy. They had broken up. She lived in Maryland. He lived in Virginia. And so um, Mm -hmm. he had moved on, started dating this other woman, and they were getting close. Well, they ended up getting into a custody battle. So the guy was about to take the child from the woman. Mm. She had him murdered. Mm-hmm. Had him, as a matter of fact, she was the one that murdered him. She murdered him, yeah. She, rented, she had her brother or somebody rent a car for her in Virginia. She lived in Maryland. She flew in for an interview, took the rental car, uh, followed him. Oh, my Wait, change the plates on crazy. Change the plates change on the, the, rental, plates on the, rental, plates on the rental car. Rental car. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was devious because she didn't want him to be. He, she wanted him to have a relationship with her and the child, not just the child. Mm-hmm. Killed that man, murdered him in cold blood. They lifted up the garage, and he was laying flat on his back in the garage with gun bullets all through his back. I mean, but that stuff That's like extreme. that, right, stuff like that happens. And and I'm glad you flipped that script because you know you get these women out here that feel like. I can use the child against as the a husband. pawn. Yeah, as a pawn. As a pawn uh-huh. You know, and so 
if you don't, number one, if you don't pay child support, you ain't gonna see your child. And if you do pay child support because you haven't paid child support for so long, you, you can't see your child. See your child. Mm-hmm. We have right. an audience comment, uh, Mrs. Turner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's she listen says, to her. Why be intimate as intimacy can get revealing in the rawness of each other? Then not want to care for the seed of passion. Mm. That's lust and the lost emotions that come with it. Mm. That always got to be deep. That was <laughs> deep. Let's discuss. Let's snap my fingers like you know, table you discussion, the- please. <laughs> so let's break that down. She said, "Why be intimate?" Well, let's understand what intimate is. Let's do the first word, "inta." In means in. Tub oh means. Uh, <laughs> please put us out of our misery. <laughs> In the world. The comments of the bench warmer do not reflect. Oh the... my God. <laughs> That's right. See, about, I, hey. I brought this. What about the revealing portion of this? Anyway, I brought this question question. up because, based upon the depth of the question, my answer would be you should have thought about that before you did it. Mm hmm. You should have thought about that before you actually had sex with the woman. However, going off what he said, and this happens, even though we may not hear it, but it happens. What if I get raped? Mm. Ooh. What if who gets raped, the woman or the man? <laughs> the man. So I mean, men can get raped too. And and then she has a baby. What if? What if? What if I get raped? What if? She puts me to sleep with a drug. She gets me erect. She gets on top of me. Does she what she want to do? I'm halfway out of it, not hey. knowing what she did. And then in four, four or five weeks, I get a call. I'm oh, pregnant. I'm pregnant. That's that movie uh, with Denzel in it. Remember? Yeah. What was that movie where she drugged him and gave him the clap? Oh, that's mm-hmm. a, a um, Ricochet. Ricochet. Ricochet yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a good movie. What if I get raped? Yeah. Wow. I didn't I, I didn't want you I like that, that. But you wanted me, but you you went you went about it in a devious way. So you Bill you Cosby. You drugged me wow. to have sex with me. You Bill Cosby me. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> man. Stop, bro. I'm just saying. I can't deal with him. See, that's a good question now. The question is presented. It's not always about the man getting what he wants, not knowing, not thinking about what he's doing, but what if I get approached like that. I didn't want you in the first place. You, wow. You ugly to me in a way. Oh, my but goodness. But you tra- you trapped me. What you doing in her bedroom? You trapped me. She drugged me. Oh, okay, okay. We're at a dinner table. I turned my back talking to Bench, or to, talking to Quest, <laughs> and right behind my <laughs> bed, she me. put something in my drink, and next thing I know, I'm in her bed. How'd you get there? She wow. picked you up. How strong is this woman? <laughs> no, no, right. Angela Bassett. That's what drugs to do to okay. you. It's a heavy influence. I got you. Okay. It's influence. Okay. Got and you. next thing I know, I get raped. You wow. don't hear this? It does happen to me. That is not a scenario I was expecting. So I, really <laughs> I know that. That's 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 serious. That just threw me way off. Throw that out there. Wow. So. If I don't want the child, I should have that right to tell I don't want it. But you have it anyway. Do you still have to pay child support? That's the question. Ooh. Now, that's probably a legal question. Ooh. And the because you got to prove. Be yes. Yeah, you got to prove that she raped you. Right. Yeah. You know. Well, not you can prove. <laughs> You can prove that that you were that you were drugged. We, because... we got an audience comment. Why are you in her presence if she's ugly? <laughs> like I told, no, oh, oh, like I told the, the girlfriend talk. I was, I was, uh-uh. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that because, mm-hmm. because what are you doing at her house? We're not at her house. Well, this, how, how, this started in the public you, place. How she get you home? So how she get you home and in the bedroom? Well, well, he just got through asking the drug, the drug influence over the <laughs> drug altered my judgment. Right. I'm not in my right mind. No way. If I wasn't drunk, so I'm in my right mind. I'm not going to go over your house anyway. To her house and in her bedroom, you that drugged up? I, I, what you drug is this? I know. <laughs> what is this? It could be, Ecstasy? It, 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 this, wow. Really? High five. Said, said, because I was about to say ecstasy. Why are you at dinner with her if she ugly? It no. started out as a friendly, friendly conversation. conversation. I, I'm not attracted to you. But I didn't know you was attracted to me. Friends were not attracted it's, to you. Exactly. Right, right. right. Yeah, it you can have all the time. So she General... slipped you a Mickey? Uh, yeah. Wow. Interesting. We ex- we in it. Yeah. I turned around Ooh. talking to Quest, and she knew all along how to distract me enough time for her to put something in my drink. 
Wow. And not drinking. I don't taste anything different. She knew mm. what she was doing. So you're basically saying if you're not in your right mind. But you were in your right based mind. Based upon when the you influence of the her. ecstasy or the drug, however you want to call this, it. This is Nick again. She said, huh. but you were in your right mind when you went to dinner with her. You didn't that know what she correct. looked like? Before y'all went to dinner? I went to oh, dinner. Yeah. I went to dinner with you because you want to talk to me about a past relationship the where you want to get back with somebody. You were talking to me in a way to where he you want to know advice that, about what you should do since you have feelings for this dude. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be a conversation <laughs> just that simple. Well, he got this in there oh, laid out. Oh, <laughs> it could be that simple. Not knowing. Mrs. Turner says he must have had some edibles. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick said, call the police after the rape. <laughs> so you going to call the police after you get raped? Well, I was. You, know. you probably would have known. When I'm when I'm he's back in my right well, mind. Well, he basically. When, when I'm back in my right mind now, of course. Yeah, you in the bed. Well, no, and what he said was he didn't think anything of it until she called him, what, four weeks later? And yes. She's pregnant. But you're not so asking. didn't even realize you were raped. But you're not asking why I'm, are you clothed or declothed uh, <laughs> in bed? <laughs> So you go on there. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you got to do something. You knew he was going to do that, man. You knew he was so going to do that. So how did you get back to your place? Are you still at her place when you wake up? Yeah, he wake up in the bed. Remember, the drug is going to eventually wear off. They eventually wear right. And by the time wear off, you realize what really happened. And, and so did the you event call already the took place. But did you call the police? Now I'm, I'm in my right mind. Of course, I'm going to do what I should be doing is to report everything I can that's beyond my that's beyond my control. That is within my control. Man, I'd have rolled over and with the sheets let, on and let said, the okay. law, <laughs> and, and, and just let the law take Thank it you. from there. Miss Turner said, don't have dinner with no women, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to get that phone call. <laughs> and then Nick said, but when a man is drug, can he still get an erection? Um, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ricochet, I'm just saying. According to Ricochet, he can. A movie? That's the movie. <laughs> right, about. right, right. It's a movie. Wait, wait, wait. So, 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 when you wake up in her house, in her bed, no clothes on, I'm rolling over and calling the police. Uh -oh. I ain't finna go to the house. I'm I rolling over and say, I don't know how I got here. I didn't tell I was going to the house. I'm just saying, I'm picking up the phone. I know I that, that some people from experience. Uh huh. Have been totally knocked out, drunk. Oh, don't do that, Shelly. <laughs> don't do and that. And still was able to get an erection. So I think that it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Here? No idea. I thought this was a PG show. <laughs> <laughs> she need to go uncut, don't she? This is not girlfriend talk uncut. Oh, uh, mute, mute. She asked the question and I had to answer it. It is possible. Uh, Nick, you don't have to answer that question. That, that's come from one woman to another, so she could. This is not girlfriend talk uncut. Right, right, right. Y'all need to go. Is he say she say? So she it's not uncut. The <laughs> she asked wow. the question and I asked the question. I didn't say it was you. Oh come on. <laughs> no, I didn't say it was you. Wait, why y'all think it's me? Somebody else. I don't know the smile, the look away. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what gave it away. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, if if we it's if, if we flip the script and the man gets raped and he doesn't want the child after he's being told four or five weeks later she's pregnant, should he pay child still, support? We should have to pay child support. <laughs> and excuse me, excuse me. Uh oh. Mrs. Turner says yes. They still get erect, intensely erect. So it's not just me that knows this answer. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. What is going on here? What is going on? She said intensely. I didn't say intensely. She said intensely erect. Okay, who's next? Where you at, Kanetta? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like and and, uh, yeah. and, and, and Miss Turner said off them edibles. So oh I guess that God. off the edibles, you can get well, well, intensely oh, erect. Are we putting drugs in the edibles? I don't know, I don't know what's <laughs> you going know on what here. edibles are? I know. Are we putting drugs in them? Um, the edibles are the drugs. Oh, brownies. Wait a minute, what time is it? Is this segment almost? I was thinking something. I was thinking. I was thinking something different. This is, this is, he know where edibles are. He this is getting out of hand here. I was thinking something different. So Nick said, "I never drugged anyone, so I have no idea." <laughs> see, I is, didn't drug nobody either. This just, is not. This is not the girlfriend themselves. talk. This is not <laughs> girlfriend talk. This, this is the thing with is that. With, say, what you say. just said, Professor. Okay. My, my question would be. Being a being a man, and I'm gonna mm. talk to you like this happened to you. All right, all right. And, and the, the way I, the way the way he speaks, and the uh -huh. way we've spoken. And like Miss Turner said, I don't know. 
I speak for myself. I use myself for an example. The mm. way I am, even if I w- don't love the woman and she did that to me, I'd be upset. I try to see if I could press charges against her or something right. along those lines. But I know how I am. Mm-hmm. Once I see that boy or girl and know that it's for me, mm-hmm. I'm going to take care of that baby. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. That's just how I'm built. Okay. So that's just me. But I don't know about everybody else. What, what if the Turner drugs said, make him have a big head? Miss like, Turner said most babies come from drugs and alcohol. <laughs> oh, my God. They start God. out that way. <laughs> oh, my God. No, for, for me, um, <clears throat> number one, the first thing I would do, if I'm waking up in a, another woman's bed and I don't know how I got there, and I know I don't have any attraction to that, I'm going to call the police right then and there because something went down. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, we we, we finna have they coming over to the house. Mm-hmm. You know, and we got to do some explaining. Mm-hmm. You know, that's yeah. one. You better keep them away from me first. <laughs> We're single. That's how we're talking right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. No, this is yeah, I will yeah. put on my security hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One of my good friends. Perry, so, he, he's New a, England Patriots. He's a teacher. He <laughs> says, uh, science says even against your will, a man can be aroused. Physical stimulation response. Mm. Mm. You gotta leave. Which is a nicer way of saying what everybody else is doing. What everybody else is using. <laughs> what, what you say? Physical. physical. Intensely. You said physical. Stimulation. Stimulation. Response. response. Okay. Wow. Much okay, better way. Okay, Miss telling all your business. PSR. She said, I had oh coaches sleeping born under the influence of apple teenies. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> Does she have work to do? She Is she at work? Teeny, She's baby. not at work. Apple teeny. She's not at work. She's at the house. She's at the house. Clearly, with nothing better to do right now. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks for watching, babe. So, uh, Miss Turner, <laughs> did you rape him? Oh no 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 no! Stay away from that. Stay away from that. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a break. Right. It's time yes, for a break, I think. What oh time are we? Come on, you want to Yeah, is it time for a break or something? Uh, she says she can't even drink one now for fear of fertility. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is your wife. Now Kanetta done sat down and went to work. Yeah. Your wife done Thanks. took over the show. Oh, she she, she didn't run off scared. <laughs> this is this is and Nick to... says it does sound like she raped you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like rape to her. <laughs> you know, I'm only the, reading Nick comments. Uh oh. You gotta is love up. them. Quest is up. <laughs> okay. Now, so you, go ahead, what, Professor. No, that, that's all I had to Take say. Us home. Um, that's it. Yeah, that, I'll say what I have to say on that. We but have that, to look at that, that too, we, that, we that, can't yeah. look at from woman to man. It's also what if it happens to a man based upon the fault of the woman. What I mean is it the still is it still the same situation? Is is the man given the right to to have his own um to to have his own will of saying you know hey right I don't want I don't want this. Mm-hmm. I mean I was you drugged me. I was upon the influence of that drug. I got out of and realizing what happened. I'm calling, like he said, calling the cops or reporting mm-hmm. the incident. Report rate. If you get arrested, if you jail time, whatever. I don't care. But you're pregnant. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you may have you're pregnant. A, I came to talk to you for, for for something that you were dealing with, and it turns out I'm in your bed. Mm-hmm. No, Mrs. Mrs. Turner says. Oh, can can she be quiet? They say women oh, make I'm the sorry. boys. <laughs> well, yeah, she cutting up I'm over there. Reading the comments, okay? I'm just reading the comments. All right, so uh, all right. Do we have a question for next week? I got multiple choices. <clears throat> I'm thinking of some questions. You might be banned for questions. <laughs> okay. We get back to you because I have a couple that I'm 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 conjuring up. Conjuring um, up. Okay. Yeah, I and I want to. I want to. Yeah. All right. I want to pass them by you guys before I present it. Okay. So Great. There's a couple of them. Break time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, this, this thank been... you, ladies, for helping me out. You know, I'm the only one on here with the guys. So it's nice to have some uh, ladies to help it. All right. Help me, help me. This has been 41 Sports Talk Radio, 41 Radio Network.com. When we come back, we got to get into this NFL. Yes, sir. Uh, Super Bowl. Uh, we will be right back. Let's go.
All right, all right, all right. We're back. 41 Sports Talk Radio on phoneradionetwork.com. I am the bench warmer, sitting next to Coach, sitting next to Professor, yes, sir. sitting on the other side of security. Let's get this thing rolling. Uh, the New England, pa- New England Patriots versus the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so um, number one, the New England Patriots play the Kansas City Chiefs, mm-hmm. and uh, Patrick Mahomes found out that uh, Tom Brady was real. <laughs> well, Patrick Mahomes didn't. The Kansas City defense, defense, found, defense out. found out he was right. real because because he was uh, you know, and 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 we we talk about this all the time, but when does New England go away? So when did, when did, I, we talked about this last away. week. They go away when Tom Brady retires. Fading yes, to, the, to, right. to, the, to, the, yeah. to the to the sunlight, it, and he's not retiring either. He's no, he he'll be back next season. Yeah, 45. he's not retiring. That's what he said. Why would he retire? I don't know. On top of the world, he yeah. has guaranteed six wins every year in the AFC right. East. Okay, nobody has proven they can consistently beat New England in the AFC period. Right. And if you can keep stacking up Super Bowl opportunities, Why would that you means stop? you're going to stack up Super Bowl wins to the point where you're not going to be touchable. Right. What if he loses against the Rams? That's two. That's that's back to back losses because he's they, the New England Patriots never had back to back losses in the Super Bowl. Where they've never been back to back. Know what Super that Bowl means? Anyway. That means you got to go back again. It means he's five and four in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. He gonna keep on going but you got on. nine Super Bowls, which is the most of any player. Okay. That Dallas is what five and three? <laughs> I mean, right. Yeah. He's been the nine Super Bowls, man. Just that's, think how that's hard amazing. that is. Nine to do. Super Bowls, yeah. You know, well, and, let me say this. I, I don't remember if I said this last week when we were talking about it, but Michael Strahan said that um he's tired of seeing him go to the Super Bowl too, but the way he looks at it to get him through it is that he looks at the rookies that are coming in every season uh-huh. and the fact that they get to go to the Super Bowl, which they probably would not get to do on any other team. So every time Brady goes to the Super Bowl, because the whole team gets rings, correct? Right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you got rookies coming in their first year, even if they sitting on the bench, they get the ring. Mm-hmm. You got you know, practice so squad. He kind of looks at it like that, that they're getting the opportunity to mm-hmm. go to the Super Bowl, get a ring. So he, he's trying to, you know. Practice squad, I, I, get I'm a ring. I'm a fan of the dynasty yeah. because it forces everybody else to challenge themselves and build a team capable of dethroning the, the dynasty, the big mm-hmm. dog. And I mean on a consistent basis. I mean a real rivalry. In the NBA, it was the Spurs and the Lakers for a for long time. For a long time. And I loved Shoot, every minute it of it. Duncan and, Lakers was, and the, uh, the Lakers in Boston. Boston. Duncan yeah. is Celtics. responsible for Kobe not having seven rings. Right, right. Because, because of Tim Duncan. I love Duncan. One Me of my too. favorite players of all time. Me too. He's and, from and, St. Thomas. Mm-hmm. Yes, but uh, uh but you, you was right. Through, it was it was Magic versus Bird for Magic a long time. Magic versus right. Bird, mm-hmm. boy, that was the rivalry but, but of all rivals. We had but the we, difference is they met in the finals. The, the reason I love the Spurs is because they were in, in the, the Western the, Conference. In Western Conference, yeah. And the Lakers knew we got to get through them. The Spurs knew we got to get through them, and that was just great. Or Dallas, San Francisco in the early nineties. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But 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 we have a difference. I think our generations are, are, are a lot so different, different. In as far as the word dynasty. When I hear the word dynasty, I hear in in my day and age, I hear a team that is stuck together with the nucleus, and that nucleus has well, gone because through. That's you got free agents. Wait, now. Let, let me finish. That, that nucleus has gone through, and, and and was beating up everybody. So everybody's got a match. The, your age, your your age of dynasty, is it is is maybe a coach and a quarterback, you know, because they have been they have been depleted. Player after player after player, coach after coach after coach. Only other co- only coaches that have stayed with that quote unquote dynasty is Josh Daniels, but everybody else has been depleted. Player after player, receiver, running back, uh, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, they've gone, and they they still there. So the dynasty in your age is more. And you're you're right, the free agency dynasty, but it's the coach and the quarterback. That should that that's that's the, the mark of a dynasty in your in in, in this day and age. Well, yeah. it's, it's still that's the true. same team, and this is the this is the most impressive. <laughs> see, we're not we're never going to see this again. What's no, you're not. Anyway. You're not. This no. what you just said makes it even more impressive. When mm-hmm. you think about it. You continue to lose coaches. You lose players. They've never been big on big stars anyway. Right. And they continue every year to, Find be, a way to, win. to be in that mix somehow. 
just get that first round by. Then right. we'll take our chances in, on the road for that one game. It's the most impressive run I've ever seen, and I don't think we'll ever see it again. And if we do, you know, I, I would love to know who's going to pull that off. The, the, closest, the closest run that we've seen to this one. Um, oh, no, no, the Cowboys. The Cowboys had a 20-year See, 20, 20 oh, years yeah. where they was winning for 20 years straight they had a winning season and they, they only missed the playoffs twice in that 20 years span only twice this and and, and as a matter of fact the the uh, uh the patriots are coming up upon that type of run they're not there yet because they've missed the playoffs a couple of times but in that span of 20 years the cowboys only missed it twice mm-hmm. so so they're coming up patriots are coming upon it but this the the difference is within that span the Patriots have gone to nine Super Bowls. Right. Nobody can. Well, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. The Patriots have, within that span, the Patriots have gone to eight Super Bowls. The ninth, the 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 Super Bowl that we want, we don't want to talk about is when it was in '85, <laughs> when it was fed to the slaughter the <laughs> with the, the by the Bears. Yeah. So so the Patriots as an organization has been to nine Super Bowls. Brady has has been to eight himself. That's still unprecedented mm-hmm. because you because the closest you have there is uh, um, you got Charles Haley, who's the only player with. Well, Brady's got five Super Bowl. No, Charles Haley has six Super Bowl rings, doesn't he? I think he has five. No, he has five. He has five. Him, okay. Brady has five. Him and Brady has five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was the first to get five. Yeah. So so I mean. What- Two different teams, though. Yeah, yeah, Make sure yeah. We throw that out. <laughs> Three with Dallas, and left and the two Niners, with San and went to the other dynasty. Yeah, if you bandwagon person, Charles Haley. That, well, don't even go there because uh, I could talk. I could talk LeBron all day long, or or, or KD. No, you can't talk We're LeBron. Right I can talk KD all day long. We're talking football right now. We're talking talk KD. football. We talk KD. So the question on the table is, who wins the Super Bowl and why? Want me to go first? Well, want me to give you some some some, go for some coverage real quick, yes, sir. Okay, New England, um, thirteen and five. Uh, this, which includes the uh, playoffs, and then Rams are fifteen and three, which includes the playoffs. Um, the last time these two teams played each other, so do I have that information there? Come on, Benjamin, uh, I know you got it. Let's see something. I think I will spoke. Uh, the last play. Okay, I got that. The first meeting was Atlanta. Uh, First, you know, okay, well, okay, so forget that, forget that stat there. Well, real quick question, real quick thing. Um, mm-hmm. I was talking to my son today mm-hmm. about um, the Super Bowl and stuff. He's like, I don't even want to watch it. Um, he's lived in Atlanta. <laughs> he lived in New Orleans. You know, there's a beef between Atlanta and New Orleans. They're saying that Atlanta did not want New Orleans coming to the Super Bowl anyway, since it's being held in Atlanta. They thought there was going to be a ruckus and all this other stuff going on. What do y'all think about that part? Ignorance. Yeah, that's, that's, would be... that's a couple of people talking. That's ignorance. That that is not yes. the full city. You think that's right? Yeah, they said it was gonna be it was it was gonna be serious mayhem. Yeah, that's ignorance. Wait, is that your, real? Your team's not in there because your sorry defense and your inconsistent quarterback can't win. That's your own fault. Wow. Yeah, but they say <laughs> the beef between those cities Atlanta, is New Orleans, serious. and they are within the same. Well, they're in the same also. division too. Yes. Okay, I can see that. Okay, I, I can't but, see but that. I'm not just talking about just the NFL itself. I'm just talking about the people, Individuals. Right? Well, 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 it's almost like it's almost like the the beef that the Cowboys would have against the Washington Redskins or the Philadelphia Eagles. It's worse with the no, Eagles. it's worse. Yeah, it's worse with the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can't hear you because you you know it's due to the hurricane. And the large and when influx. they had the large influx of New Orleans people Come going Atlanta. into Atlanta. Oh, but gotcha. that's the same. But that's the same thing they did here too. Yeah, but it ain't like it is with Atlanta. You know, Atlanta you is know much the Cowboys smaller. fans. We're about as soft. <laughs> well, saying, no, we let everybody in, don't we? Yeah. Give all our tickets away. Is, Atlanta is as big as Oak Cliff, remember? Yeah, yes, the size of our Oak Cliff. Our city is huge. Our our area is huge. huge. So when yeah. they came to Dallas, we could never see we half had, of them. Yeah, we had a big area for them. And I'm sure right. they are like concentrated in certain places in Atlanta, and it's a smaller area. So mm-hmm. I could see that being. Um, a lot of beef and stuff going on that that's concentrated in a certain area. Okay, okay. So this is the Super Bowl um, in Atlanta. Do we get another Ray Rice incident? Boy, where did that come from? <laughs> in a way. You like controversy, don't, don't you? <laughs> you really like controversy. I mean, it happened. Why? <laughs> did it not happen in Atlanta? 
It happened in Atlanta. But it didn't happen that's, that's because so, of the Super Bowl? Yeah, I mean, at the Super Bowl so in Atlanta, gone, yeah. Man. I, it I happened. I'm not thinking about that, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it rolling. Anyway, Let's keep it rolling. I just thought I would throw that in there because he, he mentioned it today. And I'm I like, just, oh, I just, I want, I just want to know, do we do another Ray Rice thing? No. No ignorant people on these two squads. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Uh, let's see something. Yeah, yeah. So get well, us back to it, 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 Yeah, but he's <laughs> taking a high road. If you listen to all his interviews so far, he's taking a high road quite a bit. Yeah. So give us some background so we can choose who wins the Super Bowl and why. Okay, so Bill Belichick um, is six and one versus the Rams. Uh, 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 Sean McVay is a one out. He never played the Patriots. No, that'll be and that's, that, and that's interesting. That's, yeah, yeah. But the Patriots have never seen them. This is the easiest the, pick. Yeah, yeah. You'll ever fact, make in the Super Bowl. Yeah, the fact. <laughs> and and everybody wants the Rams to win. <laughs> well, that's good. Everybody it's good wants to win. Good it, dream. You know, uh, the playoff record is twenty one twenty five. The Rams, uh, New England's playoff record is thirty six and twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, now there there is a playoff series here. Uh, um, Pat, the Patriots leads the series one to zero. Okay, that's easy. That was the Super Bowl, right? Uh, Kurt Warner when they beat them in the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah, yeah, that was the Super Bowl. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, let's see here. Uh, last playoff is uh, two thousand two. Patriots twenty, the Rams seventeen. That's that the, Super the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and uh, last playoff site first meeting is in the last. Couldn't season. believe they held the greatest show on turf to seven. That's Bill exactly. Belichick. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. Bill that Belichick. Was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So, uh, um, I mean, that's that's a little bit of the background. Uh, let's see, Rams won NFC West. Okay, we know that. Uh, Los Angeles led the NFC in total yards per game, 421, and points per game, 32.9, and ranked third in the conference in turnover th- differential, which is plus 11. Yep. So, and then Sean, Sean McVay has gotten the Rams. To, where did Sean McVay come from? I know Washington, right? Before went to Washington, Miami, of Ohio. My, That's the college he went to. He went to Miami, of Ohio. Miami, of Ohio. And then he, well, he, he began his coaching career where? That I'm not sure because I didn't know who he was. That would be the hired. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, he was a player's personnel in player personnel, wasn't he? Uh, he was. I read this last week. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I got it right here. He began his career with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a assistant wide receivers coach in 2008. The following year, he went to the Florida Tuskers of the UFL, United Football League. Then the following year in 2010, Washington Redskins assistant tight ends coach. Yeah. Then he became tight ends coach from 2011 to 2013 with the Redskins. Then became offensive coordinator 2014 through 2016 with the Redskins. And then 2017 got hired wow. by the Rams. Yeah, his. So in 2008, his first NFL job was he was only 22 two years, years old. old. Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. His, with his, no with NFL playing, playing experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. His 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 rise to this point was was interesting because if you look at Belichick, Belichick started out with Bill Parcells. Good guy you know, to start off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great guy in in uh, in college, I believe. So what? What tree did he come from? Can you, can you guys? Parcells? Guess? No, McVeigh. McVeigh. Uh, Mike Shanahan. No. No, 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 no. If he, uh, if he was with Washington, no, no, Tampa Bay. And what, what year, Tampa Bay? Oh wait. Uh, was it John Gruden? Correct. Yeah, John Gruden. But that does that does that really count? You got one. Yeah, he I guess up so. On a, yes. That, yeah, that I guess does so. Count. so get, what, what? So you got? He's a assistant wide receivers coach. So for John Gruden. And then Gruden came up under the tree of uh, uh, who did Gruden? Gruden was uh, uh he came under Denny Green's tree. Mm, I'm not sure I'm not where, sure where Chucky that. came from. <laughs> 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 he did look like Chucky. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I mean, but but then you look at the tree of uh, Bill Belichick, you're talking about some history. You're talking about Bill Parcells, and Bill Parcells put out a bunch of coaches, a bunch of coaches. Now, they've never – And they're been. all exactly the same. Yeah, and they all coach the same too. Well, I think, I think Belichick has shown, a, you know, that he will – do whatever it takes to win, especially offensively, defensively. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He's willing to adapt to whatever the game calls for. I think Bill was a little more stubborn. Bill Parsons. Parsons a lot, a lot stubborn. More yeah. stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Nick Saban, to an extent, was been, has been real stubborn. But as you notice, once he finally got a quarterback and saw the direction college football was going, then he 
he's even adapting yeah. to the yeah. way the game is played. You have to if you want to keep winning. <laughs> you ha- yeah, but Bill Belichick is probably the greatest adapter. Yes. Because over the years, the, 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 uh, the makeup of the game has changed. And he was able to adapt. I remember one year when he – who was the uh, uh, defense lineman that he wound up getting rid of that went to uh, Oakland? Uh, uh, um, he was on the, – the defense line, I forget his name. He was on top of his game too. And they wound up letting him go and let him go, let him go to Oakland. The defensive lineman? Yeah. Uh, uh, and he's had he – had, Willie McGinnis, wasn't no, he? No, not McGinnis. No, no McGinnis was a, a yeah, linebacker. linebacker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I don't know who that yeah, was. I forget he was, but he was on top of the game. And I remember thinking, you know what? You let this guy go on top of his game, but then I go back to the Cowboys. We just keep that Dick Fields lineman. I don't care how bad they are, we keep it. <laughs> you know. So, but that 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 speaks to Bill Belichick and his his willingness to say, you know what, you're replaceable. Yeah, you're replaceable. I can I can I can draft somebody and I can coach him up. Mm-hmm. And he does. I mean, and, he does it every year. And just to think, he could have been a Cowboy coach. Uh, Bill, Bill Belichick. There was All an right. opportunity where he was going to be a Cowboy coach. That didn't happen. Yeah. Just keep it, keep it stepping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, that's a little bit of background. Um, that's we... all you got. Oh, that's uh, plenty. That's, you know. I do know. I do know one thing. Brandon Cooks, I think, is going to be a key player in this game because he played for the Patriots, and I'm looking at him as an individual that would like to return the favor to Bill Belichick for releasing him. Mm. So you think it's like a right Ray, Ray, uh with uh, the coach for uh, Tennessee, Vengeance. who who paid back Bill Belichick because oh, Rabel, well, Rabel yeah. was a a, a yeah. linebacker. Mm-hmm. I think Brandon Cooks um, keep an eye on him because I think he because he's playing against his former team that gave up on him, and which led to his. Um, his uh, part of race with the Patriots and you know, going with the Rams, I think that's something to look at. That's why I'm so glad Dez didn't go oh, like to no. New York or the, yeah, to I was Washington. like, yeah, man, yeah. if he went to any of our rivals, we was gonna get it. Well, see, I look at that, but I mean, does does a player really know that much about their team to where they? I'm gonna give you some inside information, you know? Uh, it's uh, possible. The playbook. Yeah, yeah, they, but but here's the they ditto. know their coaches and how the coach thinks. But they here's but here's the ditto. Stuff. With Belichick, Belichick changes up so much on you. He don't change up that much. Yeah, oh, yes, he does. Belichick is a great adjuster. <laughs> I mean, he's a great adjuster. For him, to, for him to only have a quarterback, the only consistency that Belichick has is Tom Brady. He's, his only, he's the only consistency. And when Tom Brady was suspended, they still won. <laughs> we figured they're going to be 0-4. They still won. With Brian Hoyer. Right. They still won. <laughs> Right. And, and Matt Castle. And Matt Castle. And Matt Castle. Yeah, Matt Castle, Castle. A lot of money. Matt Castle, yeah. They still won without Brady. Got Matt Castle. Paid. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big time. Uh, yeah, With Kansas City. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. What the, that was such a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> and then we brought him over here and figured, okay, we got a good backup. Nah, he was not nothing. good no, at all. No, no, no. So that tells you a lot of, is, is a lot of this. Brady, or is it a lot of this Belichick? It's a combination of both. Yeah, you yeah. can't you can't discredit one Brady, without what Brady's the other. meant right. to that football team. For yeah. instance, in that Chiefs game, um, I, Belichick is is an individual. You, you say to yourself, he's going to take somebody out of the game. Mm-hmm. Period. It really wasn't Mahomes because Mahomes was just being yeah. himself. He he was still through for three TDs against Belichick's defense. He was going to take out uh, – well, I'm not going to say was. At one point, he was taking out Tyreek Tyree Hill, Hill. But right. he came alive in that game. Yeah, because they figured so, out a way to get, get him away from the mm-hmm. double team. So, in most cases, Belichick may be a, a, a coach that, that can't take one of your key cognizance out of, of your game and you have to find a way to beat him. But in that instance against the Chiefs, they figured out how to get rolling once they figured out what Belichick was doing. Once they stopped, uh, um, once they stopped uh, Patrick Mahomes from throwing the Ebron, then we'd be all right, huh? And, <laughs> <come on. laughs> Leave Jason yeah. with him alone. Please, please, please. I think one of the advantages the Rams have is the fact that Belichick has not faced a Rams team of this magnitude with Sean McVay. 
So no, I think that's gonna be a detriment to Sean McVay. I, I think it's gonna be more of a detriment to Sean McVay. Bill checks deep. I'm picking. Um, <laughs> that's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, let's, right, because he's talking. Degree. Right. <laughs> Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Jared and Goff. Why? Jared Goff scares me in this game. I think if it's the one weakness that Belichick has in this game, it's Jared Goff. But that all the that all depends on Sean McVay. What you laughing about? I'm just saying. He's going to give us all the scenario and he's going to go with the Patriots. Sean McVay, I got, I got him. I get where he's going with it. Go ahead. I think the key to this game, this, I, I said Brandon Cooks, but the key to this game is the communication between McVay and Goff. McVay is very aggressive. We all know that. But how does that translate in the head of Jared Goff against that Belichick defense? So with that being said, um, the Patriots are favored by it, – it, it, it was three yes, and now it's down to two. I don't know why they even call this a tight game, but whatever. <laughs> um, Let me ask you a question before uh, you answer that. Mm -hmm. What did you think of last year's game? Eagles Could and the Patriots. Yeah, yeah. How did, a, you, how did you – before they played, how did you look at that game? Nick Fall surprised me. I didn't think he was going to play the way he did. And it seemed like the Patriots had no answer for him. Um. I predicted the Patriots win that game, and I was wrong. The Eagles won that game. Mm -hmm. That was unbelievable. I just – I thought Belichick was going to ramshack that offense, and it was all the way around. Doug Peterson ramshack Belichick's defense in that game with a bunch of trickery plays that, that throw him off in that game. Um, Fast forward it. But Foles is not Jared Goff. <laughs> 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 I, I think know. he's good I, for I their offense, though. I didn't hear a pick or a score. I hadn't heard it either. Still waiting. No. Well, he asked a question. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> See what he did? He said, before you, he asked a question. I'm just giving you Okay, so now no, what's no, your he, answer? He, he loved that. I stalled, huh? <laughs> I say New England 23, Rams 21. Ooh, close game. So you're still it won't be high scoring. Okay. Barely. Okay. Um, I think that – um. Uh, Brady gets a sixth ring. Mm. The only NFL player in history to have six rings. That's one player. All right. And counting. Wow. This, this okay, for I'm, me is easy. Yeah, I, I, you know. This is easy. No, okay, but, but go through the scenarios. I am. The This is the thing right here. The main concern that the Patriots should have is Sam Darnold. I mean, Sam Darnold. Sam I'm sorry. Darnold. Aaron Darnold. <laughs> Aaron Darnold. I'm pulling a you. Aaron Darnold. Him and Eber. <laughs> because, because Darnold, he's the one person that I don't know if they can block him. Uh -huh. So Belichick's going to have to figure out a, a blocking scheme to keep him from getting to Tom Brady every two seconds because I don't know if they have an individual line. Well, nobody does. They can really keep him from getting in the backfield. So you're going to have to double team him. Uh -huh. uh, make sure you chip him. Keep them out of there. And if they do that, they're going to score a lot of points because I'm not confident in the Rams' DBs. Mm -hmm. Even with New England's lack of explosive wide receivers, I just don't like the DBs that the Rams have. Um, and then on the other side of the ball, <laughs> Goff is too young. <laughs> <laughs> to even deal with this, huh? The stuff that Belichick's probably going to throw at him. He ain't never seen before. I mean, this poor kid, it may take him a half before he understands what he needs to do, but by that time, okay. it may be too late. I'm going to be in the minority here, I'm sure. I don't think this game is going to be very close. I think the Patriots are going to win 38-20. to 20. Ooh. And, uh, a blowout. That's, that, that's going to – Tom Brady will get his sixth ring. Mm. Security? Ooh. I think the Patriots are going to win. Um, I have no reason except for that Patriots are who they are. And so they got Brady. Brady's determined to win again. I mean, he's got them this far. And uh, I think he wants that sixth ring. So I think he's going to push and push and push so that he gets it. And I agree with Coach that um, Goff is just young. This is a brand new a area for him, you know, so I don't know that that's going to be, um, he, he needs to play more in this area. So. 
He keeps saying golf is young, but Mahomes is young too. Yeah, but Mahomes possesses a we talent to, that golf doesn't have. Uh, Mahomes that, lost. Okay, that's, that's what I, I want to hear. Mobility. Both quarterbacks are young. I yeah, mean, mobility. Well, yeah. yeah, the ability yeah. to create with his legs. And, and Mahomes throw lost. From, throw from three or four I mean, different yeah, arm angles. Uh, Mahomes a different breed. Yeah, He's just yeah. Different. I've never seen a quarterback do a no look pass. He's just different. Mahomes. Okay. And I, if, I know he's just saying now. young. You're saying I'm like, well, they're both Don't young and Mahomes use, still huh? through three, he, he's right. three I CDs I against, uh, against them. Yeah, Mahomes, his ability to elude the rush, throw from multiple arm angles, just makes him a nightmare mm -hmm. to, to game plan He's for. quirky. Sure right. He <laughs> Very quirky, I dude. Love to see Step Kansas Curry. Yeah. Yeah, that's what man. he is. I would have loved to see Kansas City in New Orleans. But oh, anyway, man. That would have been a great game. But anyway, so. Give yeah. us your score. I think that the Patriots going to win, and I think it's going to be close. Um, I'm going to go 27-24. Mm, okay. All right, so here's how I look at this game. Uh-oh. I look at it in two or three different phases. <laughs> Phase one. Um, I think that, uh, um, number one, you, if you, if we look at the last time the Patriots played an oh, Los Angeles Rams team was the Kurt Warner, Kurt Warner, twenty seventeen. Yeah, Kurt Warner is a better was a I think is a better overall, over, uh, 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 overall quarterback than Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Okay. Kurt Warner had more weapons to deal with, with, with then, then, I mean, Isaac I Bruce, don't, Torrey no, Holt. I, I, I don't Isaac know Bruce, about that. Torrey Holt, and then you got, I think then, it's equal. And then you, you, you got but, Isaac Bruce, you got Torrey Holt, and then you got, uh, who's the Marshall runner? Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk. I mean. He was a receiver. Yeah, he basically. was a receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, th those weapons were, I, I think those were more dangerous weapons than the Rams have now. I think, I mean, you, you get, I got, I uh, give you Todd Gurley, okay. but okay. Let's put those two together. You want Todd Gurley? You want Marshall Falk? Mm. That's a I, good am I getting a hundred percent healthy, Gurley? Uh -huh. no, I'm, I'm taking Gurley. I get a more physical back, and a, a guy who can still catch out of the backfield. Give me Todd Gurley. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll go down the road. What receivers you want? Tory Holt and and I'm uh, taking Isaac Bruce. And Isaac Bruce Holt. and Tory Holt. No. Okay. Over. Robert Woods and over um, um, Cooks. Cooks. Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks, yeah. Cooper I'm, Cup. Josh Cup, Reynolds. Cup, Cup is hurt right now. I'm just throwing yeah. the receivers in there. Yeah, I'm taking Isaac Bruce and Torrey Holt. Yeah, so okay. I'm, so am I. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like uh, the Rams. The, the the greatest show on turf is still, I think, the greatest show on turf. Mm -hmm. You man, know, I man, think. Who ran the better offense? I think. I think Kurt Warner won, ran a better offense than Sean McVay. Yes, I think. I think their offense was oh, more. That showed it. That Kurt yes. Warner team. Oh Can't my nobody gosh. Stopped yeah, them. I think they were more balanced. <laughs> oh my but gosh! Un until they got to Super Bowl. Until they got to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay well, would Tampa always Bay. show how you slow them down with Warren Sapp and them boys. It, it, yeah, Warren yeah, Sapp. Warren. Yeah, yeah, but that was right. Tampa too, though. That was Tampa too. So I look at that. I take that. And then I fast forward over to this Los Angeles Rams team. I know it's a totally different team and everything. Right. The here, here's what I look at though: two common denominators are still there. Bill Belichick, and Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Tom Brady, yeah. So they've seen. We we act like they've never seen this type of explosiveness. Yes, they have. Those two have seen this type of explosiveness, and those who knows how those two know how to deal with this type of explosiveness. Okay, uh, on the on the. Defensive side of the ball for the Patriots. I never worry about the Patriots defense. Yeah, they 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 do that bend and break type thing. You know, they bend but they don't break. They bend they, but they don't break. I think this is going to come down to how good can Tom Brady be versus the Rams defense. Who let's not think that the Rams defense was the same defense that they played the Cowboys. That was a mirage. You know that 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 Rams defense was not necessarily a true Rams defense because they've never played it that way because the Cowboys were just giving up, giving up the boat. Mm -hmm. You know, the Rams defense we're going to see is going to be the Rams defense we've been seeing all season long, mm -hmm. which this defense gives up points. You know, they they give up points on a consistent basis. You know, you have to score. The Rams would have to score so many points to where the defense doesn't even matter. I don't think they're going to do that with the with 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 New England. 
I think this is going to be a high scoring. Uh, 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 I think it's going to be a lopsided game with the Rams getting the short end of the skip, of the mm-hmm. stick. So I'm saying uh, 47 to. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm saying 47 to, to 14. Wow. wow. Uh, I'm saying. Wow. The Rams wow. win 47. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm about to put no. my money on the table right now. I will Man. take that bet immediately. No, no, no. Yeah, I, will, I will never go to Vegas with that bet. <laughs> no way. <laughs> New England wins uh, 47 14. I don't know. That's just too much. The That's X too... factor in this is Sean McVay. I opinion. kept saying that. He's the X factor. Um, that's why I didn't bring him up when I made my prediction. I just said golf because I just he, I just can't envision a scenario where he outplays Tom Brady. Right. Mm-hmm. As much as I keep trying to figure out a way that I could pick the Rams, I was doing it all before the show last week. I was thinking, how can I pick the Rams to win this game? There was never a scenario I could come up with where they win outside of the Patriots turning the ball over three or four times. Mm-hmm. And that was going to be related to the defense. And that's the only way, because I just can't see any now, other way. Now, let's not forget the Patriots' defense is not all that. They are average at best. Yep. You can't throw on them. You can't. You can't run on them. Yeah, the but Chiefs let's not prove forget, that. But let's not forget this, though. Let's not forget that, you know, the Rams, that, that their December wasn't a great December at all. They lost to Philadelphia. They didn't have a great December. They, they kind of went and they kind of got into the playoffs kind of limping a little bit. Not necessarily on a full on full steam. They were not full steam ahead. I think because they locked everything up so quickly. Mm-hmm. I think that had a lot to do with it. When you have nothing to play for, it's hard to be intense. That's very true. Yeah, but you but you you, you gotta you, you gotta keep that rub. I mean, let's let's say I I I'll, I'll give you the scenario here. Let's say you don't play Dallas the way. Let's say Dallas don't tip their hand. Mm-hmm. All right, on on, on their on, on the defensive line. Let's say they don't tip their hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can do scenarios all day long. If they don't tip their hand, Dallas wins that game. Mm-hmm. Because Dallas actually came back. It was what was what was called twenty two to um, what was it twenty two to thirty? Yeah, I was I here. I just, remember. I don't know you you blanked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but but Dallas and and that that, that first drive, they, they looked like okay, this is on. Mm-hmm. Dallas had an opportunity to win that game. If you don't tip your, if the defense that and Dallas has never gotten beat, the defense has never allowed Dallas to get beat. This time they did. Mm-hmm. You know, they they you beat the best running running team in the NFL a week before, which is Seattle, mm-hmm. and you go here and you get killed by the by the running game. That's uncharacteristic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uncharacteristic. Well, so so I mean it it happened. It did. So you have to take that. I mean, but. So um, what my my point is, let's not say. I think this is a, this this is led to the slaughter. It it it. <laughs> okay. It, it has the look of it. I, yeah. but I don't know if forty-seven to fourteen. That's what I'm saying. I'm like that's a little high. I don't know about that, but it definitely has the look to me as well as as a mismatch. Yeah, I'm out on the lead over here. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, moving on to the next part, NBA, NBA. The question on the table is, did Luka Doncic get snubbed uh, and like, possible ooh, Anthony Davis uh, trade destinations? I don't think he got snubbed. When you look at the Western Conference All-Star starters, Paul George, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and James Harden, mm-hmm. why would you put Luka Doncic over either yeah, one of those yeah, players? Ready. No. He yeah. is playing lights out, but them five players I just named, I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as the reserves, snubbed. on the 31st of this month, and that is on Thursday, they're going to name the reserves for the Western Conference. I expect Luka to be in there. Right. But you're not starting him. Now, he was second. He was second in voting. And all star voting. Mm-hmm. But, but let's forget. Fan voting. All star voting. 50% voting. is fans. Right. 25% is players. 25%, 25% is, is coaches. coaches. They're not about to put a rookie in. Right. No. But you're, you're still second, though. In fan voting. In fan voting, oh, yeah. yes. Everything, fan everything voting. else. Now, the, out of all-star voting, fans have the biggest influence, but it tells you that the players and coaches what if he doesn't they come get, close to Luka. What if he doesn't get into the reserves? Oh, he will. There's no There's no what if. He will. I, and I, I can go to Vegas with that, with you right now. 
He will. Mm. He, he should. He's going to the All-Star game. He should. He's going to probably be the top reserve. The coaches will pick him because – the, all the fans want to see him. Right. The right. numbers say are you need to be there. Numbers. Mm-hmm. Right. So the and the Mavericks have been competitive. Right. Because of him. Yeah. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And and then he what the other night he was the first teenager to have to score to have two triple doubles right. as a teenager. Mm-hmm. At nineteen. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and I saw. Just that think game. about that. Even LeBron James didn't, didn't do that. Have two Even right. Kobe, Kobe Bryant didn't do that. Didn't do yeah. that. Kevin Garnett didn't do that. Uh, well, yeah. Which Kevin Garnett and Cole yeah. came out at the age of 18. Right. And so and was LeBron. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. Kobe doesn't count. Kobe went into a team that was a <laughs> 50-win team already. Right, yeah, yeah. It doesn't count. But but, I don't want to take nothing away from Luka. I think he's a terrific, way better than I anticipated he'd be his rookie year. Um, I don't think he got snubbed. Uh, if he would have been a starter, it wouldn't have bothered me because LeBron's missed a bunch of games this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's more of a popularity thing. When he was playing, he was playing well. But, I mean – to me, there should be – you should get punished if you miss 16, 17 games right. in the first 42, 42 right, right, right. of the season. Oh, yeah. You should still be on an all-star team, but you, you shouldn't You shouldn't start. be starting, yeah. Uh, I don't care what the fans say. You know, that's a popularity contest there. I mean, I'm a Laker fan, but LeBron, in my opinion, he should be sitting on the bench mm. because that's where he's been anyway the last few weeks. <laughs> that's why we've fallen out of the playoff. Well, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get all upset. <laughs> and and, and that's, that's why I say – that's why I say – that's why I say he got snubbed because yeah, all the players you mentioned are great in on 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 mine, but Doncic has been playing his Doncic has been playing his butt off, and you got players, you got starters that's that's just kind of halfway in there, halfway out of there, you know, not doing, not putting up the numbers, not doing the thing Doncic is doing. I don't care what how old you are. Steph has been there since since day one. Yeah, he ain't. Yeah, he ain't I, I, yeah, yeah. Down. But that's one player though. Paul George, and man, Paul has been playing be, better this year than he was last year. He might year. be the MVP. Paul George, that's how good he's playing. James okay. Harden, we know the story well, yeah, behind story him. Behind he, he's putting like he said, LeBron, LeBron James. No, that's just, that's popularity. Kevin Durant, he's been the same Durant. I mean, he hasn't Le- changed. I think LeBron James is popularity. Yeah, he's more of a popular vote to me than any other starters on that team. So you sit him down. They're not going to. He's right. not no, going to. Yeah, I mean, right. uh, I mean that's pretty obvious. They're not that's going a to. Decision. Yeah, I know they're not mm-hmm. going to. But no, Luca. Uh, um, I, I actually sat down and just watched this dude. This this kid is good. He is. I mean, he's he's got this. He got. I just this. can't get over the nineteen part. And he's playing like he's been in the NBA for so long. Playing like a veteran. Yeah, he's yeah. got this one step jump that you can't stop. You know, and the passes he's doing like a legit step back, James right. Harden. Yeah, yeah, not that old. I'm gonna get fouled. Step back. Three steps backwards. And we found out the, the other day that he uh, he trained with Steph Curry in the offseason. Yeah, yeah. That right there, and oh it, my God! And his passes. Have you have you actually watched some of his passes he doing? He can play. I mean, he did a couple of passes the other day. I'm like, where's he? Oh my God! Slam! <laughs> and he and he single handedly bring the Mavericks back into games. Well, this is my concern. We now have Dennis Smith Jr. back in the backcourt again. <laughs> if you're gonna put Luka Doncic as point forward. Does he coexist with DSJ? No. No, nah, this is this is another one, KD and Westbrook type things. He's back in the starting lineup to showcase him, mm-hmm. so they can build trade his him. value back up. Trade back. So they can. Get I just don't see him being on this team too much longer. I mean, if Luca's gonna run point, there's no use in, in having Dennis Smith Jr. here, unless you're gonna put two shooting guards on the floor. But other than that, no. I've done that before. Luca is a distributor and a scorer. Right. Right. The dude got it all. Yeah, he yeah, and he got a he got a. But I don't think that can cause this on the court though. He DSJ got a, he, and he got a mean three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> he got he hit one three pointer and it, it didn't go in, but it went it went it went up to the Raptors and came back down. <laughs> what I what I like about the nineteen year old kid, he has the NBA swagger about him. Right. He'll talk the noise. He'll shimmy. He he already has the mm-hmm. it factor. It and, usually takes a few years to get that no, it he's factor. Got that. He has the it factor already. He did a. Turn around, jump shot. Uh, the other night, I think it was against the Clippers when they, when they beat the Clippers at home, and he just started waggling his head around like a bobblehead. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got, I this. got it, I got I it. Like, and that's why. And he 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 hates to lose. Right. I mean, you can see the pain on his face when they lose. He ripped his jersey though. Yeah, night. the other Did day. He ripped, see, yeah, he missed a shot before the half and just ripped his shirt in disgust. That's a true competitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
but that is going to effectuate everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to just boil over to everybody else to where, okay, we need to have that same mentality. They have to find the right pieces to build around. And yeah, because was, they don't have them. They don't have them right that now. That was my next question. So who do you build around? Let's start with DeAndre Jordan at the five. You keep him there. Do you keep him? him. Yes. Yeah, you keep DeAndre Jordan. There's no better center than him, so he's okay you here. There, because yeah. he likes to pass. DeAndre's an above-the-rim player. That's mm -hmm. what you want. Yeah, you That's keep him want. there, yeah. DSJ, pretty much. He's no. gone. He's gone. Okay, so you have Harrison Barnes. No, I let him walk. Yeah, I let him walk too. <laughs> he said that quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I was against the ninety-five million they gave him in the first place. Mm -hmm. It was like, wow. He's, he's too inconsistent. Very up and down. Yeah, yeah, very up and down for that kind of money. Wesley Matthews. Wes Matthews. Let him go to. I'm paying for his ticket personally if we can get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gone. He shoots yeah, way yeah. too much. Yeah. So we got four of the five Mavericks players in the starting lineup out of here. Yeah. Their bench players play better than them. Well, you got you got Finna three Smith. of because you, you keep I like Finnis Smith. Jalen Bronson. I like him. I like Bronson too. Yeah. Uh JJ Barrea, even though he's hurt right now. Yeah, but something he, about him with the Mavericks. You want to keep he, him. He yeah. just continues yeah, to he's like a little squirrel. <laughs> you go to Minnesota, you you're not about a quarter in Minnesota. You come back you here. You come back here and, you, and you're the same way you were the first time you was here. Because you an effective role player. Because you ignite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, yeah. I guess we're going to have to start thinking how we're going to build a team around Luca if y'all letting four of the five Mavericks go. You got go. to. Well, a couple of things I might think about doing if I'm the Mavericks, I'm putting in a couple of phone calls to some teams who aren't playing as well as they thought they'd play this year. The Milwaukee Bucks. No, they're playing well. They're the best record in the Eastern Conference. I, I know, but. No, I'm not. They're, if they deal anybody, they're stupid. Who would you call the Lakers? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not calling the Lakers. My team alone, partner. <laughs> Who are you calling? You'll get Lonzo Ball. I probably will call Memphis and see about Conley. Because. And we was in, in, in his sweepstakes not too long ago before he committed to Memphis. Yeah. But my only concern with Conley is his contract. That's, yeah, that's the problem. Huge, that's a huge contract. That's the problem. Yeah, that's a huge contract. That's the problem. But he, would to me, would fit real good with Luca. Because he's not going to demand the ball to shoot and all. He's not trying to do that. He's trying to pass as well. Mm -hmm. So, if, if we're talking about building the offense, Car Carlisle likes that motion-type offense where mm -hmm. everybody's moving and passing. Then you want a point guard in there that thinks that way mm -hmm. and not think me. I think Dennis Smith has a lot of me in him and right, not right. enough us. us. Right. So, Jalen Brunson's not good enough for you to be a starting point? Before you go out there in the free agent market, when you may have I, your I give, point, I give some one, point guard in house, I give him one more year. You know what? I give him he one might more year. Be. I give him. One I like. Year. I like him. So yeah. he, he might be. I won't have a problem with that. Um, man, it's just I, they they've got to try to figure out a way to make a move because you know none of the big free agents are going to come to Dallas. No, nah, that's been a problem, and that's here. been a problem with the cow with, with, with uh, the Mavericks. Mavericks. Yeah. Is bringing which, in big free agents, which transitions to Anthony Davis. Mm. I was going to ask you about Anthony and Davis requesting his trade, right? But he wouldn't come over here anyway because we're not at a contender. He wants to go, he to, wants a to, go to a right now contender. Yeah. Well, okay. I, which 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 begs the question: Why you want to go to L.A.? There's two contenders in the NBA: the Warriors, the Warriors, the Warriors, in Toronto, in Toronto, yeah, in Boston, I guess. Boston, yeah, Boston so is contender. Three. Yeah, Boston. Bo so that's he, it. And he's not going to Boston. Yeah, that, that's it. So what he's saying is, I'm trying to go to a big market. And so, so where are you big market? If I go to a big market, other people will come to this big market, and then I'm on a contender. So where are you yeah, big, big back market? To LA. You go L.A. New York. New York. But who wants to go to a big market in the East? I'd go to the Knicks if yeah, the right people market. are around. Uh, it's got the right people. Is, is, Mi is Miami a big market? No. 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 Uh, Boston. Well, we already Miami's talked about Boston. Miami's just got South Beach, and I've been to South Beach. I go to play for the heat just to be in South Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh what other big market? Um uh, we said Houston. Mm. No, I don't know. But him and, he him, want, and James, him, he him and James he wouldn't want to play with James have. Harden no. right now. I mean they're playing ISO ball over there. That's all they play. Yeah. ISO. It's, it's him so. in the first quarter, Chris Paul in the second quarter. It's a lot of ISO basketball. From that point. What about Oklahoma City? They can't afford him. They, they, too, many big too much money tied into Stephen Adams, Paul George, and Westbrook. 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 They, they can't afford him unless they're willing to give something up, and they don't have anything. What about Memphis? Oh, come on. Man. I mean, not Memphis, That's but basically New Orleans. Milwaukee. No. 
that would be interesting, him and Giannis, but no, he wouldn't want to go there. He's made it clear. He wants to try to get to L.A. in any way, and shape, or form. Yeah. And the interesting twist to that is the story came out right before I came here that I saw that Clay Thompson, yes. if he's not offered the max contract, if the Lakers get Anthony Davis, he'd he be goes over there. going to L.A. See, and I hate that whole, that whole let me build a team. Let me here go I, with I, the super I, team. I, I hate that little let me build <laughs> my super team and say now we're champions. No. I, I, I do not I build what you have. Everybody's building. Yeah, I hate, but I do not. That's been but going I do not. Say, I do not like that at all. Oh, no, it has not been going on since the seventies. My the Lakers. No, 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 no. Your Lakers built within, no, not without. They, they went, no, no, got James. Kareem, Abdul, no, that's that's the only one they went out to got. James Worthy. They drafted. Uh, Magic. They drafted. Uh, Cooper. They drafted. Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis. They. The they, great. They, they they built within Michael Cooper. They did not build without Boston Celtics. Only person they went to go get is Parrish. You didn't have as many teams either. Uh, no, then. no, you, you made it. Who what? Huh? Boston Celtics. Oh, I thought you said the Lakers went and got Parrish. No, no, no. Up. Boston Celtics. They went to go get Parrish. <laughs> the Chief. The Chief. Yeah, they they went to go. Face. Yeah, yeah. And even the Mavericks. Mavericks built within. You know, I'm talking about building within. Stop trying to go, Harry, come here, come play with me, come play. It's almost like you know. Mavericks didn't build from within. Yes, Jason, they did. Jason Kidd. No, 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 no. I'm no, no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the 80s, the Mavericks. 80s, the 70s, and 80s. Oh. Aguirre, Rolando Derek Harper, Blackman. Rolando Blackman, Rolando all Blackman. those draft picks. Brad Davis, to do Tarpley. Then, like Tarpley. I said, because there wasn't as many teams. So Detroit, it's the Pistons. To get another good player. The Pistons. Only person they went to go get was Aguirre. Aguirre. You know, they would and, and I, I don't. It's okay when when you just put one piece in. Man, these teams are going to get here. You, it's it's like a playground. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> we playground, but I don't like that. Build, learn how to build your team within, and stop doing, trying to go. Blame that on LeBron James. It, first of all, and he, it's started not, he started that, and it's not the players' That's fault. What he called no, it is the players' fault. No, the play. LeBron James sit there and make a phone call. Come in, Chris. Chris, you want to go over to uh, 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 to Dwayne? Me and Dwayne been hanging out. You want to go play with us? Yeah, let's go play with us. Okay, now you get Chris out your Paul, contract. Chris Dwayne Wade, Anthony Davis, Davis, Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris Bosh. Hey, let's go. Gave this team seven seasons to get themselves together. He's not about that. to continue to waste his prime, and they can't get right. No, I, <laughs> I, I get that. I, I get that. But, but I'm saying this right here. You go talk to management. And you and management have a conversation that says, what are you going to do? And then let management come out and say, you know what, we, we're, we're ready to trade Anthony Davis. Magic Johnson. You know, well, you know, we're ready to trade. So then, so then let management do that. Players are actually forcing that hand. He really has no power at the moment. Uh, he doesn't. He's, he's under contract into 20. Right. He, they could keep him there for the rest of his life. No, no, just to that season. They, that's the rest of his life. Because <laughs> after that right there, you sit on the bench for a second or two. They won't sit him on the bench I, either. I, I, he he's gonna bring back so much in return that well, they will well, have I, a chance to build something good. They just have to be smart about it. You know, that's all. That's all I, the Pelicans I, I, have to I, do. I, I get that, but I just don't understand this whole. Let, let's go play. Let's go to Sandlot and let me that, pick our team. That's not hmm. how it starts, man. LeBron tried to build something in Cleveland the first stint. Nobody wanted to come there. Because mm -hmm. it's Cleveland. It's Cleveland. They Nobody don't wanted to live there. They don't want to come there now. It's cold in Cleveland. They don't want to come there now. Nobody wants to be out there. That's why he couldn't. He tried. He stayed okay, there as good. long as he could. Then, then, then he left. Then stay your ass in Miami. No, he came, <laughs> he came back no. because now Kyrie is there. They have the first pick. And then they got rid of Kyrie. No, they didn't do that when he got there. But this is why he came back. So Kyrie is there. They have the first pick. They trade Wiggins for Kevin Love. I can work with this. I'm going back home. Uh, then when he saw, okay, I'm getting to the end. Yeah, I'm going to go Kyrie somewhere else. Kyrie is gone. Kevin Love sucks. I'm going somewhere else. It's time to go. No, but, 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 but go. because of that right there, every team is calling their homeboy and say, hey, come play with me. He's a free agent. Every team is calling their homeboy. I don't understand why people make it seem like I have to stay here. I am a free agent. I, that's part of our deal. That I is go why wherever I want to go. That is why I don't like free agency. Yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> because it waters down and muddies, it mucks up everything. You can't build anything when, when folks are jumping ship every time they want to. Mm -hmm. Now that everybody, uh, they, they sign a one-year contract, two-year contract, nothing so? long-term and stuff like that, and say, okay, well, I'm gonna see, if this don't work out, I'm going to go. No, exactly. build. You, no, no, you should no, be, a true champion builds. We can do that in real life. If we don't like our jobs, we can leave and go to another job. Am I, am I wrong? No, 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 you can't. Here's the difference, though. Here's the difference, though. If you don't like your job, you can leave and go to another job, but 
you ain't gonna get the same pay you was getting from the first job. Negative. No, right I now. I make significantly more money in my new job than I did in my last job that uh, I left. It, it's different. Well, I mean, Usually you know, you're not gonna jump ship. You're not unless you're jump. making Something equal better. or more. But here's the deal. That's true. But here's that the but, but here's the deal. You don't jump ship because uh, 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 because your, your 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 crew is not doing good. And you, you you use the job scenario, right? Yes. Okay. You're doing your job. See, in a job, it's an individual effort. In a job, on what you do. It, it depends on what you do. But in a job, if, as long as I do my job, guess what? I'm going to get paid. I'm going to get a raise. I'm going to keep it moving. I don't care about what, the, what what Susie over there is doing. If she is sitting on the phone. I don't either, but I care about the way my bosses treat me. <laughs> yeah, and, and if and, I don't like the yeah. way my bosses treat me, I'm telling him I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 yeah. but your boss is giving you everything you want. And you still, well, you ain't doing over here. You know, so in your, when you use a job scenario, we got to go in job scenario. Right. If they're treating me right, then I'm not going anywhere. I ain't going nowhere. Right. Now, in basketball, if you're not treating me right and you're not giving me everything I want, I got to go. What is the definition of treating me right? Getting the players around me where I can No, 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 no. Treat me right. Not the players. Me. me. Right. That ain't treating me right. I mean, if you treat me right, you taking care of me. I don't care about what you do with the other players. No, that's crazy. That, that's no, and sports is foul. No, no, it's, it's exactly. He needs a team around ex him. That's the point I'm trying to make. That the point I'm trying to make is you can't say in my job I can do this, but then in, in basketball I I got I need other people around me. It, it, it's you you comparing apples and oranges. It's you want a better team around you. You want better coworkers. Yeah. You know I want to be comfortable in my working environment. Right. So, I want to be have peace at my working that's environment. True. If I go to work so and you I don't like, like none of the you... people I work with, and I have an issue with management because they keep bringing so these you don't knuckleheads like, you, in here. You don't like the girl next to you go. calling you baldy. <laughs> there you go. Is that a problem? Hey, it might be. <laughs> I'm bald, but that wouldn't bother me. But <laughs> anyway. but I, I get. I'm just saying. I just I, this, the free agency. I think they need to. I think they need to kind of tone down the way they they do free agency. They allow them to they allow the players to run it, you know, and do whatever they want to do. What do you want them to do? If you stay with your team, you can make significantly more money than if you leave. Players just don't Steph care. Curry, two hundred dollar, two hundred. Yeah, he making a thousand. He making two hundred million dollar max contract. <laughs> he making. I mean, they they they're. I just I they're just, putting. Things in place. To I just try don't like. I just like. The, I don't like the way they got this whole. And I still say, you say they're not, but they are. The players are running this this game. <laughs> they are. If 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 let's let's say uh, DeAndre. Oh, DeAndre Jordan held the Mavericks hostage until he figured out they held the owners hostage until he figured out what he wants to do. And he said, No, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over there. Remember that? No, the Clippers had a final meeting with him to try to convince him after he had committed to the Mavericks. They kept him in the room. And in so no, no, he no, yeah, yeah. Any calls exactly, him. yeah. So, I mean, no, the Clippers knew he was, kept him. They, he knew what they were doing. He didn't leave the free agency. He knew, he knew what he was they, doing. They wined and dined him and made him happy. And what did he do? He, he stayed. And then he wound up leaving again. Now, they wanted him to leave. <laughs> he, they true. decided not to resign. Because he didn't He didn't feel like doing, being there in the first place. He was happy to be there, but you're getting rid of Blake and you just, you're getting rid of everybody. I, well, I don't need to stay here. What are we doing here? <laughs> so the Clippers reverting back to the old Clippers? No, they got a fun little team. Oh, okay. Can, yeah, I, all right. can I just give me a seat over there? And now, play? before we go, because I know we're about to go here in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to bring this up. Trey Young mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. has an interview, and he says that he thinks that the Mavericks and the Hawks won in this situation. Okay. He thinks five to ten years from now, he's going to be a better player than Luka Doncic. Oh, now, he said that's the competitive side of him. He, okay. he believes that because he's competitive like that. Now, before everybody continues to just throw that under the bus and just say, okay, whatever, he's delusional. I'm going to throw three things out there. Mm -hmm. First thing, Luca's been playing professional ball since he was like 14 years old. Right. Professional organized basketball. Mm -hmm. Trey Young, he's a 19, he's 20 now, but he's a legit professional rookie. Mm -hmm. That's what he is. This, is. this is what both players have done. I'm going to just go to the last 10 games here. Luca, 24 points, seven rebounds, seven assists per game. Last 10? Last 10. Okay. Four and six record. Mm -hmm. Trey Young, 20 points, seven assists, four rebounds, four and six. Luca has six 30 point games on the year. Uh, Trey Young has two. Trey has 13 20 point plus games on the year. Luca has 27. I bring this up because Luca's been good from the start. Mm -hmm. Trey Young is starting to figure it out. out. 
uh, the Hawks, when this year started, I didn't think they'd win eight games. I'm going to be honest. When I looked at their roster, I just like, I don't know how they're going to win. But with him and Collins, that one-two punch is really becoming something special. The Mavericks don't have a one-two punch yet. They have a punch. They have a one, one but, not a but they need to find that too. The Hawks have a legit one-two punch. They, they, they have 16 wins. They're probably going to win 30 games. I, I can't believe they're going to win many games. Uh, and so – when I look at Trey, he's only going to get better. Right. Do I think he's going to be a better player? No, because I'm big on size. But I don't think it's so far-fetched that he can be as big a star and an all-star on the level with Luka Doncic. Well, let me ask you this question right here. Um, we can go back 20 years ago. <coughs> Dirk and uh, uh, who was the other uh, with Boston? Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Mm -hmm. It's the same type of situation. Okay. It's the same type of situation. Who is the better player? Now, 20 years later. Uh, they're the same player to me. Right. <laughs> I'll take either one of them. Any day. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a size guy. I like mismatches, so I would take Dirk <laughs> over, over Paul Pierce. Because I, I just – I'm always I'm always like that. My son to tell you, I will never trade small for big. I, I will always keep the big guy, <laughs> the bigger now, guy. Now, let's go off the stats you just, you just mentioned. Mm-hmm. Trey is just now figuring out. Yes, he's really starting to get it going here. I don't think Luke Luca has figured out as much either. Yeah, he's been playing pro ball, but he's been playing European pro ball, which is different than American pro ball. Okay. You know, I think he has, and you're right, he needs that two point two punch. You know, but he's doing this without the two punch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trey Trey has the two punch. A you young know, one. A young one. Yeah, they're both yeah. real young. Now you give him that two punch. What happens to his numbers? Right. And he's got numbers without the two punch. So what happens to his numbers once you give him that two punch? He becomes a lot better, and he's going to get better. This is not his ceiling, and we need to we need to understand that this is not Luka Doncic. This is not his ceiling at all. No. He's still trying to figure it out. Right. You know, he's still trying to get the nuances together. Yep. You know, but once he gets it together, then I think he's. I think his his ceiling is going to go higher. So. Um, in 10 years, I think we'll still be talking about Luca more than we're talking about Trey. Okay. Professor? Last words on that? <sighs> the only thing I know is Luca Doncic is the real deal. And one of my questions I had going into the season is if the Mavericks don't improve within the next two years, at what point do you consider replacing Rick Carlisle, who is very hard on point guards as it is? Hmm. See, I don't the know. The last time we won a championship was 2011. What has happened since then? Steady decline. Well, well, I, well, the, the decline was when they blew up the team. And they put, put that on Mark Cuban. <laughs> that was it right there. I don't know. Rick Carlisle is still a good quarter, uh, still a good coach. He is a good coach. You, you, you. What you do is you. First of all, their drafting is just horrible. Is it the drafting or where they are being where well, they are being drafted? That's horrible. Well, okay. You, you, you got who? You last year you got DJ. Last year, this past year got Dante. No, you got Dante. Before, before you got DJ. Y'all ready to get rid of DJ? Well, because they didn't know. Luka Doncic was going to do this. No, I mean, no, no. What I'm saying is, be the, the player that he is now, and he's a distributor of the ball. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you're drafting. You're not drafting for a for a continued success. You just let's just bring some players in. You're not drafting to. There, there's no. We're not sitting down and saying, here's the team we want, and here are the players we want to fill those roles. I'm going to bring in DJ. Don't don't I want a, a player that's going to complement DJ? I bring the player, the same player that DJ is in. Mm-hmm. I mean, and saying he's going to back up, mm -hmm. you know. No, you don't. You don't. You have to draft with a with a plan. The Mavericks are not drafting with a plan. That's your problem. Two minutes. That's Two your problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so go ahead. Um, we're gonna close it out. We're gonna wrap yes. it up. Yes. Yeah. Last word. Um, I have a couple last words. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was that my last word. Well, yeah, you were last words on bad. that. On okay. that. Well, uh, I want to mention again that Brick House is uh, celebrating their seventh year anniversary. Yes. And remember to call in for reservations at 817-460-9993.
and we will post it to our social media. Uh, make sure you tune in next Tuesday. Uh, we will recap the Super Bowl and, of course, other sports. Uh, Coach will give us that information and we'll put it out there. Um, the Girlfriend Talk will be our guest again, and their special guest will be Kenneth Marshall, author of Why Must We Play These Dating Games and Dating Truths, Loss Prevention versus Damage Control. Mm. So you're going to have a really good guest on uh, next week. They will be on at 8 o'clock. So uh, make sure you tune in. Stay tuned. We'll be posting more information about that out there. Yes. All right. This is 411 Sports Talk Radio, 411radionetwork.com. Again, thank you, Brick House, for uh, having us to be a, be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look forward to the uh, uh, anniversary party. Uh, we are out. Yes, Howdy. please. All right. <laughs>